cashier just waits. Bill waits until time that he's needed. He's, his people call him. First time viewer here, Breast and Dress. Well, thank you, Headhunter. It's very nice. That, um... That was made by a game studio that does pixel art. That's why it turned out so well. All right, let's see here. We need to order some stuff. Okay, what do we have? We need green toilet paper. So, toilet paper. One, two. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, oh, by the way, I did start a second channel on Twitch called Dan's Comfy. Uh, at nighttime, we'll be playing games that, you know, don't get great viewer counts, but they're, uh, cause they're, you know, kind of slower or just comfy to play like, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and stuff. Uh, the link's below the channel there. It's also pinned at the top of the chat if you want to follow. That's where I'll be streaming at nighttime for our comfy night streams. Cause the, uh... Having the lower viewership at night does hurt my Twitch stats, unfortunately, because you know they don't set, they can't separate stats out. So, oh well, it just for this helps out to keep it separate, so I can play with that what I want without having to worry about you know stats and stuff. All right, put that there. Throw that away. It's like chocolate. We shall move the chocolate um, over here. Something like that. Uh, Golem is not one of those games. Golem would be the opposite. That's a super high viewer count game because it's funny to watch. People like to watch people suffer while playing that. All right. Uh, put that over there. Yeah, like Final Fantasy VII, a lot of people are playing it themselves. Don't want spoilers and stuff. That's why it doesn't do well on Twitch. For most people, 90% of streamers. A couple exceptions out there, you know, like Maximilian can get like crazy viewership while playing. Because <laughs> he's a special. Uh, put that there. Chocolate. Chocolate. Just following the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chocolate. Yeah, a lot of you are, are avoiding uh, Final Fantasy because they also want to play it on PC when it comes out, probably next year. It sucks that they're making the PC people wait so long to play. Like, it's like, come on, come on, uh, Square Enix and PlayStation, let the people play the game. You know? Let the people play it now. Don't make them wait. Alright, let's store our, stock our toilet paper. We're going to go ahead and stock our candy over here oh not candy yet I need cake let me order some more of the red cake there so let's see uh, cake yeah obviously uh, Sony's paid uh, for exclusivity you know which is a practice I hope that we just sort of phase out over time because exclusivity I know why they did it but it's like, can we move on from that? Like, I get why it was done in the first place. But haven't we moved on from this yet? Cereal, cereal. I guess not. Uh, the new Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. Forgot about Grand Theft Auto. We're only, uh, that'll be out next year. Hopefully. <laughs> Doesn't get delayed, of course. But should be out, possibly coming out next year, which means whenever uh, Rockstar releases a game, it well, except for remakes of games, they didn't have trouble with that part. Um, but for whenever they release a new game, it's always a, a galactic event where the industry shifts from the weight of their uh, presence on the industry. Yep, you can uh, run with shift if you want. If you want to move faster. Florida is going to be a place that's going to allow them to do all kinds of stuff. Hello, it's Wayne. Welcome. Florida will be a great setting for GTA because it's going to be... Um, just think of how many things happen that aren't fiction 
in Florida that are just how many stories start with Florida man or Florida lady. <laughs> It's just one of those states where it all kind. There's so many different kinds of people there that things happen. Things happen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't. I wonder if they will uh, do a throwback to, like, throwback to the original um, game that also took place in Vice City. Be interesting if they have like Easter eggs or maybe a character pops up who's really old now or something. We shall see. Yeah, there's lots of... And Florida has lots of wildlife, which is something that they could fully take advantage of. They can implement Red Dead's um, hunting systems into um, that game where you got to go hunt gators and stuff. Hunt gators. Get attacked by seagulls. I used to think seagulls were super cute little birds. I was like, aw. And then I opened a package of chips on the beach. And then now I'm scarred for life. Because they're terrifying. Being swarmed by those little white birds. Just, oh. You would have thought that we, were, we had the last food on earth for these birds. <laughs> They swarmed us. They wanted that those chips so bad. Uh, let's see. Eagles attack them sometimes. I love eagles. Eagles are great. <laughs> uh, as a Floridian, I agree. How to get this game? It's on uh, Steam. Just Google it on Steam. It's uh, thirteen bucks. So we need uh, what? Pink sugar and brown sugar and a little bit of salt. Pink sugar, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Um, there's one more type of sugar there. Hmm. We can move that over. Where is? Where did I put the sugar? Um. Had to have gone someplace. Where did? Thank you for that resub, uh, Dagonus. <laughs> Dagonus. Hello, Clunk. You're an Izzy. Want to spin my store? And I just spin my store two times on accident. Oh no! I've done that too many times. Ah, uh, you know, at least you got a lot of space to store stuff. But it does suck when you can't. <laughs> when you accidentally spend all that money on the storage room, it's like, ah. I got nothing against the storage room. It's it's a nice room, but, you know, I don't want to spend that much money right now on that. Ooh, eggs. Uh, good evening. I, I live in West Coast, Sweden. I hate seagulls. Russian Hook with the 84-month resub. It says, Dan Crazy, Dan Crazy, Dan Crazy. Look some Dan Crazy in chat. Thank you very much. Thank you for subbing for 84 months. <laughs> I love Dan Crazy. Dan Crazy pairs very well with Dan Tripp, or uh, the other new emote she gave us. She's amazing like that. Okay, salt. And pepper. Caffeinated. Gengar. Hello. Pepper. My brain wanted to say ginger. I don't know why. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that's not, is that Ginger or Gengar? I can't, uh, brain, please. Okay, we need all the bread. Let's order bread. Bread. One, two, three, four. Get all that ordered. All right, so getting stuff on the shelf. Love to stop by and shop at my grocery. Well, thank you. You're welcome to stop by anytime. We sell all the groceries. We currently have a deal going on that if you buy one, you will get one. If you buy two, you get two. Um, if you buy three, we will charge an extra 10% onto your order for free. So we won't charge you the normal fee to increase the price. We'll give you the increased price for free. 
You don't have to pay the extra 10%, but we won't charge you that fee we normally charge to increase the price for you. I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. We also have a points program. For every dollar you spend, you'll get one thousandth of a point. And when you save up one million points, we will give you one free cup that you can use to buy some coffee. It's a plastic cup. Oh, yeah. Same level as me. You're level uh, 47. Nice. Uh, let's see. Sugar. Oh, yeah. I need to do the sugar. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. Can I move? Nope. Not the right size. Okay, do you have the right box out here? Let's, let's grab it. The salt box. Pepper. All right. Oh, no, I put it in the back. Grab it before they grab it. Okay. They took it already. They already restocked the salt. They have... Okay, salt. There we go. Um, salt. No! That's not even sugar. The hell's wrong with you? That is oil. I think this box is right. Oh my god. <laughs> These restockers. Can't they just read my mind? All right, delete that and that, and then we're going to move the pepper over. Okay, and then here. Would you could stack shelves this fast to work? I know. Would be nice. Okay, it thinks that that is sugar, even though it's not. It doesn't look like sugar. I'll have to restart the game. What is that sound? Sir, you have the loudest truck in the world. What in the world? Can you pull this thing forward? Sir, I don't know what your problem is, but you got... Sir! Ow! What the... Pull over! Oh my god. Get his license plate. 181846. Someone write it down. I got hit. And he just took off. Man. I know. Can someone write that down and call the damn cop? Jeez. It's insane. Kind of a city we're living in now. I gotta report that to the damn cop. I'm gonna do a magic trick. Look, it's oil. Now it's sugar. Ah, amazing. Magic. I figured out that's a display bug. So just whenever they put the wrong thing on the shelf, the game thinks it's something else, even though it's not. So you just restart and it'll fix it, usually. Got some beer here. Sometimes they drop their boxes just right on the ground. Alright, sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Mm. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna put lots of this sugar over here. It's a nice sugar. Pretty sweet. All right, let's go stock the shells over here. And some brown sugar. And some more brown sugar. And... Where did I put... Oh, here. Put that there for now. And then put this over here. Perfect. 
Do you have a glitch? Yeah, that's uh, that glitch is fixed by just restarting the game. Uh, they will if ever if they like take something off a shelf and put it on a different shelf, it, they, it will become that item even if it's not. <laughs> it's got to restart the game and it'll fix it. If you guys ever get stuck as well, that'll also fix it. Just restart the game. Sometimes the AI will get confused and stare at a wall and just not finish stocking something. Put that there. Dan Trip looks like a glitch. Yep, Julia made Dan Trip, and it looks insane. Just like, you're like, what am I looking at here? What is going on? Allows you to perform alchemy. That's a way to put it. Uh, the store's not open yet, so we're just waiting on, uh, we are restocking everything first. Let's get some bleach and laundry detergent. Let's grab both of those. Bleach, one, two, three. Um, how about the white bleach? We're good on that. And then laundry. Um, detergent, no, what's that called? Looks like laundry detergent, but what is it actually called? It is a... Uh, Cleaner. Just generic cleaner. Okay. Cleaner. We're good on the other stuff. Here we need all the coffee. If we can get coffee happening. One, two, three. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. And then we need pasta. I move the computer out on the floor so I can easily see the shelves and order stuff. I put it in the back when I'm not using it. But it's great to pull it out on the floor. That way I can order stuff. But I would run the back all the time. One, two. Pasta elbows. Uh, pasta. One, two, three. Get that ordered. Uh, looks like we're out of floor. Some flour. And looks like we need a little more bread. Uh, okay, not blue flour. Let's take one one box of blue flour only. So one, and then one, two, three, Oop. three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, actually, we're good on bread. Mm, could use some more vodka. Vodka, and what else are we missing over here? We could use. Uh, thank you, Moonfair, for that 108-month resub. Appreciate that. Oh, my God. Jessica, Sandra, Bellius. Thank you for following on TikTok. I appreciate that. wonder if what happens when you replace the shelf, they were going to back the way. I don't know. Like, I think when they walk to a shelf and it's not there anymore, they get confused. And they're like, um, they put it somewhere else so they have room for it. Uh, yeah, they have uh, cheapos and COVID O's. <laughs> like, hmm. Okay then. <laughs> I will not be eating those. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting flavor of uh, beer there. Uh, six packs of beer. Need that. Uh, other cleaners as well. So where is it? One, two, um, three. Okay, everything else looking fine on cleaner. Let's do six. Pack of beer. Oh, I'm out of money. <laughs> no orders for me? Olive oil, yep. Unfortunately, I made a mistake, chat. I ran out of money, which in business is probably the biggest mistake you can make. Like if you are out of if your business is out of money, that is that is a that's a huge problem. A lot of the other problems we can get around, we can find ways to fix, but no money, that's that's not good. 
Because you kind of need money. I could get a loan, yeah, but loans are no loans are kind of annoying in this game. They cause a lot of hassle. I'm not a big fan of the way the, of the loans work. So apparently they want the money back. I'm like, what? I thought this was like free money for me just to have. Apparently they want me to repay it. <laughs> in real life, I uh, managed to get like a uh, this a uh, big chunk of money for my house from the bank for free. They called it a. Uh, Mortagi or something, and then I don't have to pay it back because it was free, I think. I only had to pay 3.4% of it, which I was like, okay, here you go. So I guess I paid it off. It was a great deal. So I, only got, I got my money for only 3.4% of the normal price, I guess. Uh, they've been sending me lots of letters. To, I'm guessing they're like congratulation letters. I don't know what they are. I'm not going to read them. Mm -hmm. And they keep knocking on my door, but I'm a millennial, and I'm like, I don't answer the door to people. <laughs> Go away. Someone shows up at my door. I, I, if I don't know who it is, I didn't order. Like, that door is not open. And Let me reenact every time someone knock on the door at my house at my parents' house. Oh my god! Chat! Hey, hey, Dan! Hide! 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 Shh! Be quiet! Be quiet! It's Jehovah Witnesses! Shh! Shh! Don't make any noise. <laughs> every Saturday. <laughs> Instead of opening doors and like, you know, we're not interested. Nope. Just hide and don't make noise. Um, let's see. Put that there. <laughs> Just join the live. What's this game called? Uh, it's called Supermarket Simulator, and it's single player only. There's no, there's no planned multiplayer of any kind. Um, I think as he, he he designed this game to be a single player game. Maybe at some point he might add it in the future. Stardew Valley did, and he didn't plan that to be multiplayer. So you never know. Maybe in the future there'll be an update, but for right now it is single player only. I was expecting one day to open the door and have a note that says, um, stop by to talk to you about, you know, the Lord and Savior, and also we saw you inside. <laughs> You're like, oops. Oh, no, they, they got me. They know. We saw you. Um... Maybe they'll stop. They never stop. They kept coming year after year after year. Every set, every Saturday. They never gave up. But we always hide. <laughs> the but next big up needs to have auto inventory system though, auto reorder things for you. There's lots of little like quality of life things that I could see him implementing. That would be nice. Lots of like little things. Uh put that there. All right, more pink coffee. We'll put you on the shelf over here. Like that. Can you tell me something that happened to you that was, like, really scary? Yeah. Um, I, I just bought groceries, and I was walking home, and um, I was carrying my groceries. I had to go through this dark, two dark alleyways to get to my apartment. And then as I was walking, um, all of a sudden I hear footsteps behind me. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Please go around. Please go around. They weren't going around. And then, bam, someone punched me across my face. And I was like, oh, God, I'm getting jumped. And then I turned around. Luckily, it was just like two 13-year-old uh, boys. And they were – It's uh, I was really tall. And they were, I was like double their height. So – I, I, my instinct was to charge at them, not to run. I, my instinct was to charge at them, and they got scared and ran. Um, and then I ran the other way. But I'm, 
It's good to know that my, I have, for fight or flight or fight, mine was fight. And I was like, fuck. Ah! Yeah, I ran right at him. If someone like double your height runs at you, you get scared. So they ran away. So they're just mess trying to mess with me, I guess. You know, people do that. But I charged at them. They got scared, ran away, and then I ran home. And I was terrified. <laughs> that was yesterday. Yep, that it happens. It happens. Uh, can't protect that when you mentioned the Joe witnesses. They literally knocked on my door. We seen them the, the outside and ran inside. I know you run it. They would sometimes see you outside and then run inside, and you know that they know you're in there. They know that you're in there. You know they are out. Know you're in there, but you still hide anyways. <laughs> it's one of those like oh, oops. Uh, nope. The only, the one part of the game that still doesn't have a worker is bringing the boxes from the street to the inside. That's something you have to do yourself. All right, let's go ahead and put this at. Oh, put this in the back. Over here. Perfect. How tall are me? I'm six foot one. Uh, they were like. They were like maybe five foot, maybe four and a half foot. Uh, they weren't very big. So I charged them. I was like, ah! I think I had my arms out like this. Like, what the? I look crazy, I think. <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone on Twitch assumes I'm short. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm this big on screen, but everyone assumes I'm like tiny, but I'm actually six foot one. So I'm at cons, uh, people come and meet me, they're like, oh wow, I thought you were like short. Nope. <laughs> I'm pretty tall. Yeah, not, not abnormally tall, just taller than most. All right, uh, let's go ahead and ring people out here. I seen Dan Irel, he's not short. I thought there was someone in the bush out there. Kalorian, is that you? Could you not hide in my bush? We've talked about this. Um, let's see, 40, 50, have a great day. <laughs> oh my god. I can you move your mug a little to the left? I can't see the bottom of your screen. Mug? Th this mug? The one I'm drinking? <laughs> I, I, think, I, I can't think of what mug you're talking about. Oh, your face. Oh, there's nothing on the bottom right of, the, of this game. The only UI is on the uh, top right and the and the, and the left middle. Uh, so just, I'm not covering anything up. There's nothing down there. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. Order soda. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm right now. I'm trying to bring people out to get a little bit of money. Once you get like half of the day, we'll be able to reorder the rest of the stuff we need. Bum, 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 bum. Why do people play this game? Because it's fun to... We have been trained by society that work is fun. And that we should do it for no pay. So the uh, CEOs are like, Yes, play the little shop game. Play the little shop game. This is fun, right? You like this. Yeah. No pay needed. Play it. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's fun to run shops. Because like, when I was a kid, I'd run little fake shops all the time. It taps into that little childhood memory of, you know, making your fake little money. Or if you had happened to be on for a wealthy family, you had, like, play money, like Monopoly money or something. And then you, like, give your dad and your mom some money to come shop at your little fake grocery store. And they come and they buy some stuff. You, you like, set it up in your room or, like, a, diff a room in the house and make it put a little sign on the front sign. Dan's Groceries. Get your sisters to come and buy some stuff. 
It's just, it's just like a fun thing to do when you're a child and this taps into that. Um, a great, like, a fallacy that I was trained in life was that you, that when you get older, you, you just automatically grow up. I'm still waiting on it. I haven't done it. I, I still, like, when I go to the grocery store, I'm always, like, opening the automatic doors with my powers. You know, I dock my spaceship outside of the grocery store before I go into port for supplies, you know. I never stop doing that. <laughs> I do still fantasize about having magic to, like, knock people away with powers while they're being awful drivers. I think well, uh, one, thi one thing that made uh, childhood so much more, like, easy and comfortable compared to, like, an adult is that I believed that the adults knew what they were doing and they have it under control. You have that like that feeling like oh the adults know what they're doing. They they know what's going on. I can trust that they know what's happening, right? And now that I'm um I'm older, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know what's going on. Did they not know either? <laughs> oh no. Four twenty five. I know, I like I grew up thinking, oh, the adults know so much, and they know. <laughs> but now I'm an adult, I'm like, oh no. Some children know more than some adults. <laughs> and behave better. Uh, 85 cents, thank you. Um, Alright. Let's see, we can actually order some stuff now. Getting a little late in the day, about we'll to wait till the end of the day, but we got some more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the light having to do the light switch every day is it's interesting. I, I'm surprised it doesn't just automatically kick on every day. I bet you there'll be an update. Lights can turn into auto mode, where they'll turn on when it gets dark. Well, level we are level uh, 48. And if you uh, switch to horizontal mode on TikTok using the little square button, uh, you'll be able to see the UI on the top right if, if you want to keep track of that stuff. All right. Hi there. Hello. That'll be $8.50. Thank you, sir. Ground beef. Am I really out of beef? <gasps> I forgot ground beef existed. Oh no. I forgot that ground beef was a thing. We have no ground beef at all. Not a one. 68.50, thank you ma'am. Next person. Uh, 225 on your card, thank you very much. You have a great day now. Hello there. Thank you, ma'am. That You're paying with for a twenty dollar order with a hundred? I'm like really? You don't have a smaller bill? You're gonna pay with a hundred. I'm gonna pay you with ones and ones. All right. I'm sorry. You have a great day now, ma'am. I made it rain. That reminded me of the first time I met Chat's mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> It's a joke. I'm kidding. That was a that was a big stack. <laughs> Can you give them back less change? Yes. 
but you lose store reputation. Not much, but you do lose a little bit. And you can only do a certain percent. Like, you can... If they are owed $5 back, you have to give them at least, like, four and a half, but you can keep that extra 50 cents. So it's not much. It's not really worth it too much. Next time someone pays 100, give them all pennies. You know how many clicks that would be? <laughs> oh, man. That would be all the clicks. Bill number three, how you doing, buddy? Checking them out. Good, good. That's what I like to see. Good effort. Bill number one, how you doing? Do you need a break or an increase to your salary? No? Good. Good. That's what I like to hear. Bill number three. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead to the next day. Boom. A bathroom. Oh, our store doesn't have a bathroom. Oh, no. Chad, I just thought, what if the next update to this game is adding a public restroom? Because he's planning on adding cleaning as a mechanic. So you have to clean the floors from spills, the, the counters, the shelves, and, oh, God, the bathroom. Oh, I can only imagine the pain, the horror. <laughs> I know, that would be just the ultimate horror. Alright, let's order that first. And then we need all the soda. Let's, oh, not six, soda. So I need green soda. One, two, three, four. We need just a little bit of regular soda. Uh, we need, actually, no, we need more. We need some diet soda as well. Or five, six. We need... This red soda is not really selling very well. Pink drink is selling pretty well, though. We need some more pink drink. Let's get pink drink. One, one two, three, four. I swear there's a ghost in this house. I, all the time... I keep seeing someone in the corner of my eye when I'm here. All the time. I feel like there's someone there, and then when I go to look, there's nothing. It's creepy. It creeps me out. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ground beef, you're right. I gotta get that ground beef. I'm filling up this drink container first, though. A um, little bit of water as well. Some water. And then ground beef. I'm going to need some uh, steak as well to move around. Alright, where is my beef? Okay, looks like that's... No, that's steak. That's what I have lots of. I need the... Um, I need beef. Are you beef? No. Beef? No. Beef? La bouffe? No. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Beef's gotta be here somewhere. There you are. Okay, guy. Found beef. Hmm. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to empty a shelf. Okay, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to put the beef in the juice container for a minute so I can then um, remove this. And that. Need another box. Hmm. <laughs> or not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any other slender boxes? You're slender, but you're beef, that's why. No. Actually, I could take this beef and put it here now. Some ground beef. And then take this out. And then we could take the ground beef. Nope. 
That's not beef. Oh, I put it on the wrong shelf, didn't I? Oops. Okay, put this back here. <laughs> Aloha from hell. Thank you for that 60 month resub. And EBK Knight with the 10 month resub. Appreciate that as well. Okay, cars run over your boxes. They they can run them over, but they, they don't like harm the boxes at all. If that makes sense. Like they can run it over, but that's all they can do. Okay, put the stakes here. Snides Nistro, thank you for that resub. And I'm going to take you out here. It's like a puzzle game. Alright, I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you here. Does the food expire? No. There's no expirations at all in this game. Okay, now move this off. Take that off of there. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Now just put the meat in the back, unrefrigerated. Perfect. Absolutely no problems with that. Our meat is going to be green for St. Patrick's Day. Hell yeah. It's themed. Okay, soda. Diet soda. But this game doesn't have a thousand planets checkmate true <laughs> but it does have a thousand products that all look the same so checkmate oh uh. all right uh diet soda diet soda shoplifters will be a future update yeah he was aware that people want shoplifters real business people uh, owners don't want it but the People in the game want them because it doesn't feel real without them. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, the way it works is um, at nighttime we're going to be streaming. Um, our night stream will be on our separate channel instead of the main channel. And then also YouTube and stuff. YouTube doesn't really matter because that, that's where the VOD will go anyways. Those are new character models? Yeah, it seems like he. A secret update was that he took a lot of the character models and remixed them with different color, cord, different color combinations. Like they'll have blue hair and a blue dress versus blonde hair and a black dress. That kind of stuff. Game is huge, I know. We haven't even locked all the products yet. Alright, over here. Uh, my other channel is um, pinned to the top of the chat box or also in the profile below the stream. If you want to check it out, it's called Dan's Comfy. We'll be streaming there at nighttime. Uh, my soccer stands outside my shop. Stock is in the stock room on the racks. Any help? Uh, yes. If your stocker is standing right here, not doing anything, there's either A, not enough shelf space on the shelf for him to stock stuff. Two, there isn't enough in the back for him to pull from to stock the shelf. Or three, his AI is broken. It's got to restart the game. So one of those three. So to figure out is, is if you either A, don't have enough product in the stock shelf. Um, or B, there's not enough space on the shelves for more stuff to go. Where do you get that uh, cat tree behind you? Oh, this one? This is from a place called Mayu. M-A-U. Mayu. 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 Um, they make really not, really high quality cat trees that last a long time. I've gotten a lot of cat trees from like places and they're like really cheap fabric and they're kind of wobbly and stuff. Um, these are pretty sturdy, but they are uh, quite a bit more expensive because they're made of real wood and stuff. Like this is an actual log right here that's connected here, but it will last a long time. Um, she has she's had hers for. A few couple of years now, she hasn't been able to tear it up yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's M A U. I think is the company that makes these. What, what type of cat? It's a orange, um, orange tabby. I think is what the breed is called. Kind of the stripes. 
And she's got one little tiny puff of white on the end of her tail. She And in my opinion, because I am biased, she is the best cat in the whole world. You know, I am biased. We're all biased against our own cats. Well, unless you have... Some people aren't. Some people hate their cats because they can be what, quite rude. Every cat has, like, a very different personality. And you never know what kind of a cat you're going to get until you meet the cat. Some cats are just the most loving, adorable creatures that will just cuddle you. They'll never do anything bad. Some never, ever want you to be near them. They just want you to feed them and then go away. You know, some cats are just like that. You never know what, cat, what kind of cat you'll get. Dogs have personalities too, but dogs seem to be on the whole more friendly on average than cats tend to be. At least in my experience. Like a dog like just loves to make you happy and just love it's their favorite thing in the world that you are home. My god, you are home? Oh my god, I thought you would never come back home. Welcome home. We're like ah, oh, I'm so happy, you know. Cats are like, Oh, you're back. I puked on the rug and scratched your couch. Also, food is late. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, though. Some cats are very sweet. and like They'll just come and greet you when you come home and they just like to snuggle. Cats get kind of a bad reputation because the few, the few cats out there that are mean um, make people think that all cats are mean and all cats are rude, but that's not true. Cats are, most cats are really nice. A lot of people don't treat their cats correctly, which is the big problem. Cats are, cats have a very specific way that you need to take care of them. And then they won't, you, they won't scratch you or bite you. Or if you pay attention to the warning signs, usually a cat will tell you that, hey, don't touch me by their body language. Like Tifa, she's a great cat, but there's times where she doesn't want to be touched. She's like, she'll let you know. I watched Jackson Gal Jackson Galaxy is great for um, learning about cat behavior. I his videos are great. Like if you have you never owned a cat or think about owning a cat or like you have a cat that you think is a problem, usually the problem cats are upset because of something, and when you fix that something, then they calm down and they're normal. Mine bite me if I don't touch. I must hold them at all times. You have a cuddle bug cat. Yep, some cats are just like, they want you to, if you dare leave their side, they will be very upset with you. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats. Kevin's allergic to cats too, but we have a cat because he loves them too much to not have one. He suffers because he loves cats too much, even though he's allergic to them. Um, it, oh, thank you for the rose, uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, no. Why did it have to be that screen name? <laughs> can you get toward the story? Once I'm done, now that we're done, I can do that. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's see. So, uh, when you walk into my store, you see the candy and the cookies and stuff to make you want to buy. Then we have the toilet paper and the cleaning products, um, the, like bath pro laundry and bath products. And we have the cereal, sugar, salt and pepper, oil, the flour, the bread, beer, alcohol, peanut butter, potato chips, some condiments, milk. Uh, coffee, rice, pasta, and we got our frozen section of a bunch of goodies in here, all kinds of good stuff. And over here we have our drink, our drink rack, which is now full, and water right by the register so people can grab a drink. Got our big old meat. I watched a religious, I was went religious on Jackson Gallup videos on that and Kitten already catified house. He's a genius. Yes, epic tight pants. He makes it very easy to understand 
the best ways to take care of a cat and how to, as he puts it, catify a, a house and to treat a cat with respect. <laughs> it's, he's, he makes very good videos for people that don't know how to properly um, take care of cats. Um, oh, thank you for all those follows, guys. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so then we have our freezer section. We got our prepared meals, some juice, uh, prepared meats and sushi, milk, then cheese, eggs, butter, some more beer, and then our harsh chemicals right there in the back of the store. So it's pretty organized. I like it. It's going pretty good. And then, um, oh, let's keep. I always bring my computer out on the floor to order stuff so that way I can don't have to keep running in the back all the time. All right, let's see. So we need, what is this again? Oh, salmon. So salmon, moussaka, salmon, moussaka, salmon, moussaka. Uh, does organization matter? Uh, not really, but it, it makes it much more pleasing to the eyes. Customers will always find what you're there looking for in your store, as long as you have it on the shelf. Doesn't matter where it is; it could be as disorganized as you want. But it's nice just to have a nice, clean store. Also, if you want to get a lot of shelves, you kind of have to have it organized, otherwise you won't be able to fit things in. Um. Oh yeah, uh, chicken. We're out of chicken. Uh, we need. Crab legs. Okay, get that ordered. That's expensive. Probably get one more order of expensive stuff. Crab legs. Um, we're good on that. I need orange juice. Orange juice. Um, little hummus and small sushi. Juice. Two, three, four. Uh, hummus. Uh, sushi. Yeah, we'll take the oops, sush. Some sush, and then we're okay on just about everything else. I think we've got chips, both chips. How about both chips? Okay, some chips. And some milk, six pack milk. Uh, a little bit of cheese. We were a little low on one of the cheeses. Just that one on the bot, the middle there. Okay, I think we got like everything else pretty good stocked. This is uh, a little more bleach. All right, let's just get this on the shelf, and then we are good to open with a full stock of inventory. Uh, chips will go there. Yeah, I ordered the uh, salmon, which goes up there on that shelf. Okay, put the crab there. And then some, some milk over there. Then more milk over here. I have so many like boxes on this shelf. I need like a little more space. Okay, put these up here. These chips, double chips. Uh, storage area, I think, expands a little bit more. Let me double check. I can't remember. I think it's a little bit more. Let's put this back over here. We're gonna get this game. It's on Steam. It's called Super Mario Simulator. It's on Steam only currently, so if it's not on console or mobile or anything, because it's not a, it's not a finished game. It's a work in progress called Early Access. Oh, uh, what was it doing? Uh, storage room upgrade, management, storage. We do have it looks like two upgrades left, so probably two two more squares somewhere, which we're probably going to need. All right, we got some juice. We'll put that up there. Some moussaka. Um, hmm. A 
Okay. Um. Yeah, the uh, the Musaka is actually made by a company that also make makes nuts. Uh, there's there's two brands. There's um, Cramble, so Musaka Cramble, and there's also the nut company, which is Musaka These Nuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Sunday. All right, my brain's working slow. Okay, let's put um that up there. Oh, thank you for those follows on TikTok stream, guys. It helps the stream so much when you give the stream a follow. So thank you. Makes it go on the for you page and stuff. So thank you for your support. It's a great way to help. Uh, sometimes I. Sometimes my childish humor pops up, and I'm like, ah, ugh, shame. Uh, cheese. Let's put cheese. Do I have any empty spaces? Uh oh, getting a little low on empty spaces now. Um, okay, a little bit there on that shelf. Okay, crab legs. We'll go here. Actually, that was that was salmon, was it? Yeah, sushi. Sushi, some shush goes there. Stock room gets a little hectic, yes. Um, uh oh. Okay, we got like a couple in there that we can throw them in. So let's see. Oh, here. Oh, there you go. Another thing of chicken. Oh my god, a gaming controller from Darbs. Thank you so much for that gift. You're so kind. Thank you. Is Sunday pun day? No, that's Monday. Monday, because, you know, Mondays are like the the day of the week. You're like, ugh. So what makes things better? Having some terrible puns. That's why pun day Monday is the best. On the day you least want them, you get lots of them. Uh, let's put some hummus there. And over here. Alright, um... Oh, I was thinking about this summer taking, um, a cruise for the first time. Like, a short one. Do you guys have any recommendations for cruise lines that you like? And, like, which ones to avoid? I know they're not all created equal. Some are, like, not good. Some are... You know, like a cruise, you know, like, you leave from Florida, you go, like, to an island and then come back. I mean, that can, like, forever, like, three days. Uh, Royal Caribbean. I have... I got really good seats on this... Uh, the tickets for this one called Titanic. I don't know what that's all about. It's going to be its voyage journey to New York. Avoid Carnival. Princess and Norwegian are nice. Celebrity Cruises is great. Wonder of the Seas. Yeah, I was leaning towards um, the Car uh, Carnival and Disney are great. Yeah, I've heard Carnival's uh, Disney's really good for if you like, especially if you just love Disney. There's got all kinds of Disney stuff on there. Alaskan Cruise by Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean was one I was looking at. They have they have they have one that goes to, like to the Bahamas and back for just like a day. Seems cool. A couple days. Pretty bad experience with celebrity. I did a six day night, seven day Royal Caribbean the best time. Oh, it was good. Yeah, I've heard good things about Royal Caribbean. Love the Alaskan cruise by Royal Caribbean. Ooh, Alaskan cruise. Hmm. Does it get cold though? Probably really chilly when you get over to Alaska. Maybe not during the summer. Gone to Carnival twice. Not awful, but not great. I've heard Carnival is kind of the, like, the more, like, hit or miss. Sometimes it's font good. Sometimes it can be a little rough. It's depending on which one you go, what time you go, how many people are on there. You want to walk? Yes. There's, not, there's nothing to see out in the city, but you can walk around if you want to. Currently unfinished. Ollie, thank you for the 10 roses. Thank you. 
Not during the summer. Oh, thank you. So if we go in the summertime. Try uh, lots of perks work on the cruise line. Nice. Carnival's the Holiday Inn Express of the Seas. <laughs> you did not. There is nothing wrong with Holiday Inn Express, okay? Sometimes it is the only thing open when you're on a long road trip, okay? It's fine. <laughs> Cruising with Royal for 10 years now. Love it. Awesome, Jaffa. Oh, thank you so much for the follow tic tacs guys. Hoping the story, you're right. I've been here blabbing away. Heart hands from Mickle Cats. Thank you. Uh, Virgin Cruises is great. I, I wasn't sure if I was allowed on there. I thought you had to qualify. <laughs> Where you can get this game? It's on Steam. It's um, on PC only. Uh, there's no console version right now, unfortunately. Maybe in the future. I'll try to turn the lights on. Oh, hi, Taylor Swift. How's it going? Yeah, uh, Steam is the best place to find it. I, I don't think it's any sold anywhere other than Steam currently. Uh, one bottle of water NPC gives me a hundred. <laughs> Give her ones and change. Do it. Do it. That goes on Carnival Cruises uh, once a year. Never had a bad word to say about them. Yeah, that's what I hear. Some people have a great time at Carnival. Sometimes you hear like a bad story once in a while. It just depends. As I said, like when you go and who you go with and etc. Someone said the Mac version may be released in August. Oh, they might do a Mac port. That's awesome. I am... I have this crazy idea, chat. All right? Some of you might be shocked by this, but I think the more people that are allowed to play games, the better. So if someone only has a Mac, let them have a Mac port. If someone just physically can't play games because of... Disability stuff, give them accessibility options. Let them play. It doesn't affect me or anyone else if they're using accessibility options. How does it affect me when I'm playing over here um, what someone else is doing in their game? Like, let them have them. Like, I don't. Some people are very against anything like that. It's just silly. Uh, it, I, like. I, every game should be on PC and console as well. Oh, GTA Capone, thank you for that raid. Appreciate that. Uh, you recommended me? Well, thank you, Will Z. Thank you very much for recommending me for the raid. You said prices and items. Yes. The way it works is you go through and you click on a tag here. It tells you the average market price, and you price around that. So I'm going to change this to 275 Um, 525 so that's good. I like to go no more than a quarter over the market price for the most sales. Uh, you can set it even higher if you want, just it'll sell slower is all. They will eventually buy it, but at most any price. Do 6.25 on that one. And 1475. $7.495. You're welcome. Give me a prize for that. Uh, your prize is I'll give you what your father never did. You know what? I'm proud of you. Thank you. There you go. There's your prize. Enjoy. Uh, 650. Uh, five, $6.25. Nine seven. Oh, let's go nine fifty on that. Flour is too expensive. Oh God, yeah. Sorry about that. Two up. Uh, five point. 
How long did it take to reach this level? Um, took me about 38 years to hit this level in life. 550. Let's see. Six dollars. Oh, in game. In game. It took about 60 hours, I think. We've been playing a long time. Oh, God. 20. I'm losing. I'm losing a nickel every time someone buys this. Oh, my God. Why? 11.50 on the vodka. 9.50 on the beer. 4.25. $3. Sorry, it's $3. You're not paying the cheaper price, sir. The ticket says $3 now. 3.75. 2.25. Four fifty, three dollars. NPCs are alcoholics. You mean to tell me that you don't walk into a grocery, and then proceed to buy seven cases of beer, and then five bottles of vodka just on a random Tuesday? I thought everyone did that. My customers love to do that. Look, she's just preparing for the weekend. She got three cartons of sushi, two containers of bleach. 157.5. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. That'll be 65.50, madam. You have a wonderful day. Oh my god, it's a lot of shampoo. That's more shampoo than I'll use in my entire lifetime as a bald man. Uh, change five cents. Do you really want it? Can I just keep it? Fine. If it's anything less than a quarter, I usually just let the person keep it. It's like, I don't want a penny or a nickel or a dime in my pocket. They're just, like, they're just so hard. They're hard to use and keep, and you almost never need them. I'm like, here, have a tip. 37.50. Thank you, thank you. Uh... I'm thinking I don't usually use cash very much anymore. Thanks to debit cards, like I like I don't usually ever have like actual cash. I've gotten like all digital. Twenty-five. Yeah, between debit and credit cards, I like never need to have actual cash anymore. And there used to be lots of places that didn't accept credit cards, but almost everyone does now. Even small businesses seem to accept credit card. Fewer and fewer are not. The five pennies, I know. I'm so, was that did that make me evil, Jackie? Oops. Afternoon, I found you. Hope everything is good. Yeah, everything's going great. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, if on TikTok, it's so easy to lose a stream forever if you just scroll too quickly, or you accidentally scroll the opposite direction. I've done that so many times. So if you're Find a channel you like and have fun with. Make sure you follow on TikTok because if you don't, you might never see them again. <laughs> I've lost so many good uh, creators from doing that. And like, I'm having a time. Oops, I refreshed. It's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thank you for all those follows, guys. Your groceries are so expensive. You know what? They may be expensive, but I serve everything with a smile. That's worth an extra 50 cents, right? Sir, we are closed. Oh, okay, it's a big order. I'll let it go through. It better be at least $100, sir, or you're banned. Okay. Yeah. We might hit it there with the sushi. Oh. Yeah. Okay, sir. You get to keep shopping here tomorrow. What in the world, Bill number two, is going on? Why are you so backed up? My first stream I caught, I believe, was Oblivion. Yeah, Oblivion's a fun game to play. I love Oblivion. I liked you. I had to. I was going to hit live instead. Child scream about a spider. <laughs> it happens. Life gets in the way a lot. Oh man, Bill, come on. 
Oh my god, there's more? The potatoes are the last piece, right? Okay. We, oh, we still got two more people after her. <laughs> I bloody love this game. Me too. It's just a just something silly fun about it. Uh, there's a model Nexus that makes customers pick checkouts based on availability. Modders are already making amazing mods for this. Oh, God, that's awesome. Hopefully, he just implements that. He sees what mods are being made and just, like, looks at them and is like, Oh, I'll, I can implement this into the base game. That stuff's great. Uh, okay, just... You needed three bags of pasta tonight, right? And two whole chickens? <sighs> Sir, we need to go home. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. You got this. Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. There we go. Ah, next day. <laughs> They're going to make people uh, pay $98 to self-checkout like Walmart. Uh, yes, and I'm going to have people stand at the door that would be very passive-aggressive about checking your receipt with my little yellow marker. Yeah, I will check your receipt. Um. <laughs> Are we out of that red soda? And water? Mm, we're not out of it yet, but just run a little bit low. little apple juice. Big sushi. A little more beer. We're out of vodka. So vodka, red soda, apple juice. Vodka, red soda, apple juice. Vodka. Soda, red soda. One, two, three, four. Uh, apple juice. Probably a couple more apple juice as well. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get that storage upgrade. Boom. Oh, we're over there. Okay. Well, I guess we could move this here then. We have more space for storage, which is always a great thing. I could probably fit one, two, three, four at least. At least four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Those those dropped in crazy. All right. Giving them getting this game now. Yes. Good. You're going to have so much fun with this. Okay. I need maximum space here. Get upgrade side of the store. Yes. That's that's part of the like main progression right now is... Trying to afford those very expensive upgrades for the store. I'll try that for now and see how that looks. Every pixel counts in the storage room. Mm, since I, well, I think we'll just do it on horizontal. There's no grid snap for the building yet, but it's a heavily requested feature. So hopefully he'll implement that. We'll get one more. At least one more. Right, let's see. Here you go. Hmm. Nope. Definitely not going to fit another one in there. It's just too tight. Oh, well. It's fine. Uh, but that will expand right there next upgrade. So we'll have to move all these shelves anyways. Alright. To the shelves we go. Oh. Oh, I, they put that there. It's like, what? Alright. More apple juice. Got this game last night and I kept seeing everyone playing. I don't know why, but it, it's fun, but it is. It is. Like, you try to describe it to someone, it sounds boring. Like, I'll try to describe this game to you. So, um, you run a supermarket, 
and then you ring up people's groceries and you restock the shelves and then um you order more stuff and then you put it on the shelves and then you buy employees to do that for you and you price the stuff and check if things go out of stock it's like that sounds boring <laughs> why would you play that yeah. uh because it's fun is it <laughs> i do that every day for for work but it's fun though cause when you don't get paid for it <laughs> Uh, it's fun when you're doing it for fun and not getting paid. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if, uh, what if we instead, nope. Hmm. Hmm. Have one too many. <laughs> oh, that bothers me. Well, when we expand once more, we'll be able to we'll put that somewhere else. But for now, I'm just not going to worry about it. It is what it is. I know this is one of those games that looks boring. It sounds boring. But when you start playing it, <laughs> I swear, you play this game. And as you're playing it, time just melts away. I don't know how, but... The hours just fly by when you're playing this, which is a sign of a good game. Because just like a fine simulator, most people, they install this game before bed. They're like, oh, I'll try this game. I keep seeing Dan play it. It must be fun. And then um, they're, they're like, okay, I'll play an hour before I go to bed for work. And then six hours later at four in the morning, they're like, Oh my god, I'm out of potatoes! And they're just like screaming, I gotta get more potatoes! I don't got any money! And they're like, oh god, I'm gonna be late for work now! It's just one of those g games. <laughs> it's just very fun. Uh, okay, uh. Let's just go ahead and open. Boop. I gotta get some money for that upgrade. I oh, we gotta hit level fifty six to get the next like set of like products we can sell, I think. Let me double check. License. Yeah, it's twelve thousand dollars to get green beans, ice cream, pizza, potato pops, and veggie mix. Veggie mix sounds like a frozen item. Oh my god, so many new followers. Thank you guys so much for following. The game needs to improve um, AI logic. Yep. Uh, the the customers are a little stupid when they go to checkout lines. They'll all pile into one instead of, like, spreading out. Apparently, there's a mod, though, that fixes that. All ready for the game. Let me see. Supermarket Simulator Nexus. There's already a Nexus Mods page for this game. Um, someone put in a mod to rename the store. Uh, someone made a mod called Auto Racks that automatically put stuff into the racks in the back instead of on the floor in front of, you, in, of your, your place. Oh, wow. There's, like, there's lots of mods already for this. Auto Price Updater. It'll update the price automatically. No max order limit. Uh... Changes the customer, random checkout. Better checkout choice so they won't all pile into one checkout lane. Wow, there's so many amazing ones. There's some crazy updates already. Uh, it's uh, If you search Nexus Mods, uh, Supermarket will pop up. It's just like, whoa, see that's right there. The place where you get all the mods for Elder Scrolls and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Modders are already, like, going crazy. New follower, first time chatter, let's go! Hell yeah! Love seeing new people in chat. Love seeing old people in chat, too. You guys are amazing. 
You know what I especially love too? I especially love and appreciate everyone in chat that I'll never ever see type in chat. The lurkers that have been watching for years that never type a single emote, never say a single word, they're just always there, silently in the background, supporting the channel every day. They're out there. Lurkers are some the most one of the most important parts of a community on every stream. So we appreciate the lurkers. Thank you guys that are there every day. Just lurking, just watching. You guys are great. You're there. I know you're there. I have not seen you before. Are you new, ma'am? You look nice. Like, that is a very nice character model. She's gorgeous. Like, look at the difference between this character model and that one. Like, look at her hair, how much better that looks compared to this one. It's just, it's amazing. That, I'm very impressed. Hello, ma'am. 80. Have a great day. All right, buying some cleaners, some oil, moussaka, some bread. A uh, dollar seventy-five. Have a great day. All right, let's see. You got a lot. How much dishes do you have, sir? It's a lot. One twenty-two fifty. Have a great day. Lurker, thank you for being on mainstream roll. Thank you for lurking, Lyra. Hey, bro. First time chatting. Well, welcome. Why is this game satisfying? I, it just is. That is the same character I had you look at earlier, but she's got black hair now, a different dress on. <laughs> Wait, three dollars on your credit card? Okay, bye. Cheese pizza, fifty-one dollars. Have a great day. All right, let's see here, and that'll be thirteen dollars and twenty-five cents. <laughs> Hello, madam. Yeah, I swear there's a lot of new character models in this game. Like, she's... I don't think I've seen her before. I think he's, like, secretly putting in new character models and as customers. Like, her hair is gorgeous. It flickers a lot, but it's gorgeous. Hello, sir. You're... You look like you're... You would be on Jackass. You got that, like, face. Remember that show on MTV? All right, have a great day. Pork sword. <laughs> Thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is a name. Sometimes you guys have the craziest names. I'm like, what is happening? Sid from Toy Story, all grown up. Oh my God, now I see it. They said that. Oh my. Where do you find this game? It's on Steam, on PC. If you're not familiar with Steam, it's a program to download computer games onto and play on your computer. It's uh probably the, I think it's the biggest seller of PC games for quite a while now. Hi, hi, Bill. Water is too expensive. Why? Oh, it's like a dollar more expensive than it should be. Oops. Three dollars for a bottle of water, man. Two seventy-five. Okay. Wish your light would turn on automatically. I think yeah, I think a lot of people want that that upgrade. Boop. There we go. Well, we only need two lights. Market furniture, two spotlights. Boom. There's, there's probably a mod for the light. Yep. The modders for this game are already making crazy updates that fix everything. Things to auto set the price. Things to put things on the shelf for you. Things to make customers go into the um, empty lanes first before picking a lane that's already full. Little stuff like that. That's crazy. Modders for these types of games are nuts. They just make stuff so fast. Um, put this here. 
Uh, put this over here. Uh, like that. Yeah, the, this game is the, of all the games right now, this game is currently number 32 or 36. I looked this morning, um, top sellers on Steam. Which is crazy for an indie game. That's $13. Number three. 30 of top selling games on Steam right now. Because it, it's just a good game and people are having a fun, lot of fun with it. Um, I'll buy more racks later, but ah, so much more space back here now. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was in the back. Hello, ma'am. That'll be $45 on your card. Have a great day. Hello, ma'am. Some soda. Um, one, two, three, four. Thank you, ma'am. Hello there. All right, we have two dollars and twenty-five cents. Have a great day. Hello, madam. All right, that'll be seventy-five fifty. Have a great day. Hello, ma'am. Let's see, and that will be exact change. Perfect. Any games are where it's it's at. Got a lot of them waiting for them to get bigger. This this year has been especially um, good for uh, indie games. Uh, bills will automatically pay themselves into the, the day. Um, so if you go in here, these bills on this page, the rent and the bill will automatically pay themselves. You don't have to ever worry about them. Just look at them once in a while to see what the prices are. But like I don't have to click these buttons; they'll pay themselves, which is nice. It'll just auto deduct it at the end of the day. Um, all right, I think you're the huh, you, and then you are the last customer. Come on, Bill. Yeah, Bill gets paid too. They subtract the money out of there. Oh my God, so many followers on TikTok. Thank you guys for the support. Following on TikTok helps so much. It gives a big boost to the sh live stream on the For You page. Thank you, guys. Also, liking, I think, also helps. And um, sharing, if you guys share. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't usually hit the share button much myself when I'm on TikTok. But if you do, thank you for that. Where do they hold the stuff uh, walking through the store? Um, you mean the stalkers? They get it from back here. You put all the stuff on the shelves, and they'll automatically pick them up and put them out for you. Did you put the second light up? Uh, yeah, I bought. You can buy lights and then put them around. Also, you can just move lights if you don't like where they are. Just pick them up and slide them around. All right, next day. People pay tips in the supermarket of the U.S. No, uh, you, tipping isn't done in stores other than if someone is helping you like move a heavy box into your like car and they're like going a little above and beyond. You can. You know, give that guy or, or lady a tip, you know, for helping you get it in your car. Otherwise, there's no tipping. Uh, they're, they're kind of phasing out the bagger um, job at a lot of groceries. I haven't seen, like, a bagger in a long time. Usually, they make the um, cashier do the bagging now. They don't have, like, a separate bagger. Uh, there's almost always, there's no sales tax on food, um, except very sugary stuff like soda. I think they can tax soda and stuff, but most like food they don't tax, which is nice because you know it's a need. Depends on your state. Some states are different though, but usually there's no sales tax on groceries. Anything that's not food uh, won't. You, you don't bag on yourself? Some some places make you bag your own groceries. I don't, it depends. Every store is different. Um, there's this place around us called Harris Teeter, and what they do is you give the cashier your cart, and then the cashier scans every item, takes items out of your cart for you, scans them, and then puts them into a bag into a different cart for you to take out. Um, so they do everything, and you just... Give them your cart. They unload the cart and then bag it up for you and then ring up your groceries. At Target, they just, like, they bag as they scan your stuff. 
um, Publix, they just scan and then bag as they're scanning. Like, it just depends on where you shop. Kind of like Aldi. Aldi is different. Aldi is special because they like. I haven't been to Aldi a long time, but you're supposed to bring your own bags, I think, to Aldi's. If you don't have them, they have to charge you for them. And you like they put them in your like totes and stuff. Yeah, you bring your own boxes and bags and bags and boxes and stuff. Sometimes they'll have boxes that you can use, but otherwise, bring your own stuff. Aldi has self checkout now. I haven't been to Aldi's in a long time. Yeah, Aldi's is great. They're cheap and they usually have very good, high quality stuff. Um. All right, let's see. What are we don't have a ton? We got a little bit of money. We don't got big money, but we got a little bit of money. All right, let's um bring my own bags to Publix. Yeah, most places want you to bring your own bags. Some places charge you for bags. Some places you can't have uh, plastic bags, but I don't know. It just depends. It's only paper. Yeah, I, when I was in Washington, lived in Washington, they only let you have paper bags. But then some some places still had plastic. I don't know. I guess it wasn't like mandatory. Alexa, stop! I did not say your name. I don't think I said anything close to your name. She's just listing off nearby grocery stores. <laughs> I'm like, what? All right. Um. Let's see. Potatoes. Get some potatoes. You made my echo device go off. <laughs> Alexa, big fart. <laughs> Sorry if I made it go off. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you get like you spend you spend all this money on a device and our first instinct as humans is to make the make the machine make fart noises it's like ah uh, we haven't grown up much have we <laughs> two three uh let's get all the pasta one two three what one, two, three. Sorry if I made mine made it go off. <laughs> Did AI stalker walk by? Yeah, they added um, stalkers to the game. Um, so the way they work is you have to put an item on the shelf, and then you, it'll get marked with an item here, like this is rice. And then you have to put boxes of those items in the back. And then if there's items in the back and room on the shelf on the out here, they will come out with a box. They'll go to the shelf of what the item is. And then they will stock it for you. Isn't that cool? Uh, they are an amazing update that makes the stores so much less tedious than, than before. All right. Hello, ma'am. Hope that you should have fun shopping at Dan's Groceries. Uh, $2.50. Dollar Tree been doing big things here. I remember when Dollar Tree had everything in the store was a dollar. Apparently that's not the case anymore. I haven't been there in a long time, but apparently it's not a Dollar Tree anymore. There's like everything's like a more than a dollar now. Holy hell, madam! You bought six packages of toilet paper, you hoarder. And three bags of potato. Are you filling up a bunker? Oh my god. That was so much toilet paper. That was insane. <laughs> oh man. Alright, uh, 50 cents. Alright, thank you very much. 
That'll be 194.25. Have a great day, sir. Hello there. That is a lot of cleaners. Four bottles of bleach. You clean up a crime scene? What the hell? That's so much bleach. Maybe runs a laundry mat or something. I don't know. That's a lot of bleach. Yeah, that's like you got to clean up some uh, crime scene or something. That's a suspicious amount of bleach. And customers waiting for... Oh, it didn't fall over. Huh. Let's fix that. A gaming controller from Mary Green. Thank you so much. Uh, all the sugar. Let's get all the sugar. Sugar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, we need all the toilet paper. Boop. All the toilet paper. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Toilet paper is annoying to keep in stock. Uh, what's that? Some sort of cleaner. Uh, cleaner? No, it's... Dish? Yeah, dish soap. One, two, three. Okay, order that. Why does it limit it to ten goods? I don't know. There's a mod on the forums that lets you have unlimited ordering items. So you can order as much as you want. But for some reason, the... The game has a limit of 10 for some reason. I don't know why. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Let me get this all rung up for you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, $87.05 to your card. Have a great day. Ice cream and juice. Thank you so much. You have a lovely day now. And uh, thirty-one twenty-five on your card. Have a great day. You know that Durian's dish soap stinks? I've I didn't know it was a real a real thing. Yeah, the AI charges eighty dollars. Um, the cashiers are I think eighty dollars a day, and then the stockers are ninety dollars a day. Um, so you pay them at the end of the day. Uh, they're not free. Brookie and Ranger the cat, thank you for those follows. It's so nice of you guys. Thank you. Fifty cents. Okay, cashiers all rung up. Now let's get the boxes on the shelf while they're finishing the customers over there. Okay, we'll put the toilet paper on the top rack there. Boom. Whee! Customers waiting. What? I thought we were closed. Oh, people still walking in. Sorry, we are closed, sir. All right, ma'am, that'll be $68, $1 and change. Wait a minute. That means she gave me $69. Nice. Nice. All right, grab that, and then that will be $20.50. Sometimes they give you, like, weird um, amounts of change. Like, they'll, the total will be, like, $73, and they'll give you, like, 76 And you're like... How did you give me set what? This is some weird math going on here. It's like you just gave me a dollar just to hand it back to you. Dan, the store is open 24 hours. They are planning on adding store hours that so you can stay overnight if you want. Have a 24-hour shop if you don't want to end. Uh, MKL Cats, thank you for that uh, lovely little uh, sticker there. Appreciate that. I need eight dollars a day. I'm quitting my job to be a stalker. Yeah, let's. The work day here is what they work. Um, thirteen hour shifts. So let's see. So they're they're getting paid ninety dollars a day divided by thirteen hours. They're getting paid about a little under seven dollars an hour. So it it sounds glamorous, but it's not. It's they're not getting paid very much. In fact, that's under minimum wage in the United States. They they get fined for that. 
Yeah, and they work after hours and before we open. <laughs> so, something strange going on with the calculations here. Uh, Susu. Do you know what feels really good? Is I, yesterday on my day off, I did all my taxes. I, if you're not familiar, United States, the IRS makes you calculate all of your taxes all yourself. You have to figure out, gather all your forms of income, all your expenses, and then either do it yourself or pay someone to do it for you to do your taxes. And then if you mess up and you pay the wrong amount, then they fine you later and then could possibly even go to jail if you mess up. It's so dumb. Like the IRS will eventually know how much you owe, but they won't tell you. You have to figure it out on your own. You have to like figure out by hiring someone and making sure that they give them all the paperwork to do it right. It is crazy. Apparently, uh, I've heard in other countries they just the government just gives you a a bill for how much your income tax is. And then you just pay that. You don't have to calculate it yourself. Which sounds a hell of a lot easier. A, a bill or, or a refund or a statement. So they just do it for you. They tell you how much you owe. And then you just pay it. Wow. That sounds so much better. All right. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I apologize. You have been so patient. I'm going to give you, as a thank you, an extra nickel. You have a great day, ma'am. Just for your inconvenience. All right, let's go this way. Uh, Let's see. Boop. In most, in many countries, the IRS already knows uh, what you've earned. You just double check if it's correct and sign. Oh, that sounds so much easier. To do my taxes, it took me about six hours to gather the forms, and then I give it to an accountant who then does the taxes. So it is a lot of work. So I have to. I spend six hours tracking down every like ten ninety nine every. Transaction, a bunch of receipts for deductions. Ugh, it's just, it was it's a lot of paperwork you had to gather up. You get thirteen hundred back this year in Belgium? Hell yeah. It's always nice when you get those refund checks. Those are I remember when I was uh I I worked at um a Barnes and Noble for a long time and I get that I get that refund check in April. Ooh. That, like sometimes it was like a spicy thousand dollars or something. I was like, yeah, get a thousand dollars, go spend that on something nice. It's a good day. Um, there you go. This storage method is chaotic. Well, um, I d I don't have to f know where things are. The AI does, and the AI automatically knows where things are. So you can just throw things on shelves, and then the AI will figure out where it is and pick it up automatically. If I had to know where stuff was, I would do it entirely differently. But luckily, I don't. I don't need to know where things are. They will restock for me, so I can just throw things anywhere, and it works. <laughs> if I had limited space too, I'd have to like do it more organized to save space but for right now like i just throw it on there they'll figure it out i'm paying them for that next day boom. do you have to put the boxes on a specific shelf no the way it works is the ai will know that for example the cake shelf is empty so he's gonna go oh let me find the cake items and he will automatically know where the cake is in back there he doesn't have to look for it. He just knows. And he goes right to the shelf where it is, grabs it, and empties it. If I had to find it, I'd be looking through every shelf like, which one is the cake? 
thankfully it doesn't work that way, so I can just throw things over there. You take out loans? Loans are really annoying early game because you don't your daily profit is lower often than the cost of paying back all those loans, so it gets a little tricky. Um, I recommend taking out loans only when you have like a good when you're earning more daily profit than the payment of the loan. Otherwise you're gonna have some growing problems. I had this weird phase where I was like I was buying and selling and I couldn't quite like I was like not making any money because my everything was going to the loan payments and just like was stagnating for a long time until the loan was finally paid off and then I started making money again. I took out too many loans and expanded too quick, which was the mistake a lot of people make in this. Did they add stalkers? No one told me. Yes, last week on Sunday they added the stalker update. So now you can buy hire stalkers and it helps out immensely. I can watch people play this game but get so dizzy playing it by myself. Do you have any tips? Do you mean dizzy as in motion sick? Or dizzy as in like overwhelmed by how much stuff there is to do? So I stalkers almost quit the games. Everyone was the same way. We were just like exhausted. Uh, now the only issue is the putting the boxes to the back shelf. That's the annoying part. You get motion sick. Uh, yeah. You can try. Try. It depends. You can try like having your can't your like mouse be really slow when you turn. But I don't know. Some people, some people find it easier motion sickness if you move quick, if you move quickly. But some people just get motion sick, and there's no. What would help a lot is a field of view setting, but that isn't in the game yet. So I don't know. I don't know how to help you. I mean, worst case, you could pop a Dramamine before you play, but that's like extreme. Hopefully, he gets like a field of view setting. That would that usually helps a lot with um, motion sickness. Taking breaks can help as well. All right. Oh, no. All right. Let me put it back on the shelf. Uh, we got to order some more stuff because we are out. We are out. Uh, Kevin can't play, um, like, Lethal Company because he gets super motion sick from that game. Some games just really trigger motion sickness in people because of the way, like, the field of view and the UI and the frame rate and stuff. All blurs together. All right, I need to take a quick break to drink. Ah, much better. Much better. All right, let's make sure the store is full. Okay. <coughs> all three cereals. Let's get all three cereals ordered. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I also saw hand soap. Okay, and then let me go put those on the back. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'll throw these here. That there. Uh, this over here. Chocolate again, right there. Uh, that cookie crisp will go there, right there. More cookie crisp and honey will go there and over here. Perfect. Can you empty shelves? Uh, yeah, you just have to have a box to do that with. He is going to be updating the game in the future so that way you don't have to have a box to move items somehow. But for right now, the only way to move an item off a shelf is to have a box that can, you can put items into. So it can sometimes help to like keep a few like of boxes of each size just so you can rearrange if you want, if you're planning on doing that. Not looking forward to items expiring in future update. Well, it, it entirely depends on how he implements it. There's lots of ways to do expiration dates that could be annoying or be fine. 
we'll just have to see how he chooses to implement it. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, green sugar, pepper. Green sugar, pepper, bleach. Green sugar, pepper, bleach. Green sugar, pepper, bleach. White rice. Okay, I want to make sure everything's filled to the brim. Uh, both oils and orange flour. Uh, orange flour. Also, blue and red flour. We can use a little bit of all flowers. If I sell enough of those, we can fuse with a flower shop. And we need uh, sliced bread and sandwich bread, but more of the sliced. Four, one, two, three. Looks like uh, all the coffees, but mostly blue. One, one, two, three, one, two. So mostly coffee. And a little bit of rice over here. Basmati rice. Perfect. Then we need some milk over here. Do that. Needs graphs this up. Yes, he is planning on adding a update to make you see all the stats and then update prices much easier because he, he is aware that... Updating prices can be a little annoying in this, the way the game currently works. One, two, three. Uh, got chips. We want kegs and beer six packs. Kegs. One, two, three. Oh. Three, four. Uh, beer six packs. One, two, three. How about vodka? We are... Use a little more vodka. Uh, mayonnaise hot sauce. One, two. Hot sauce. One, two. Um, looks like... It's hoping they can do an upgrade where you can change the prices in the computer alone. That's, that is planned. So that will be coming, just a matter of when. But I can confirm that it is being planned. It's on the front page. I know I'm broke again. I'm out of money. Ah, why can't I just have all the products for free? Uh, let's do sush. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we got $33 left. <laughs> All right, let's load everything on the shelf, and then they will put it away for me. Uh, flour. Oh, my God, thank you for the heart, Logan. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is the part of the game that is needs, like, a worker. is some sort of stalker or box mover. Or give the player... A like cart where he can move five, six boxes at once. That would be amazing. That would fix everything. I would love if they did that. Some sort of like rolly cart or something. A dolly, yeah. How much of the game? It's uh, think think thirteen U.S. dollars still. And it's worth it. You'll play it. I played it more than I I played this game more than I played Suicide Squad, which I paid seventy dollars for. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I played it more than I played Skull uh, Skull and Bones as well, which I also paid seventy dollars for. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> 
Yeah, quite. It was not quite quadruple A enough for me. Over here. Was that Nutella? I think that was peanut butter. It just looks like Nutella because of the way they did the character model. Uh, this right here is hot sauce. Let's put the hot sauce away. All right, some oil. Hello, madam. Uh, oil, put that there. Something. Okay, cake. Thought I put cake over. I'll put it here. More coffee. Let's put coffee here. And oil. Boop. Are you hyped for PS5 Pro? I keep hearing PS5 Pro. But I'm still like... I'm, I'm leery because people have been saying Switch Pro for the longest time. Now I'm always like... Hmm... Rumors about a new console. Here we go again. I've been waiting for this Switch Pro forever. What do you use to stream new this? Trying to figure out how to do it on my screen like this? I use um, TikTok's official uh, TikTok Studio. Um, but you have to have a certain number of followers to use it. But once you do, you can. Uh, you have to have a certain number of followers to first stream and then second to um, use their their software thing. They don't just let anyone stream until they think they have 10,000 followers, I want to say. But they might have lowered it. It's, it could be lower now. It might be. Because they do have that TikTok shop thing where a lot of people with, I think, a thousand followers or more, more are, are doing it. I see. Every time I scroll through TikTok now, I see loads of loads of people trying to sell products. Oh, 3,000 followers now. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought it was a little bit lower. It was, it was, was 10,000 at one point, but I guess they lowered it to make it easier for people to get into. How do you, can you get rid of or sell a checkout counter? Uh, you want to box it up, be holding it, and I think you press the F button to sell, I want to say. So have it boxed up, hold it, and then pre hold down F, and then you think you sell any furniture that way. All right, let's go ahead and... I have this game for free. Well, um, yeah, I I can I can probably guess how, but again, this dev this game is being made by a solo dev, like by himself, no help. So if you can shell out the thirteen dollars to pay for the game, just give the guy his thirteen dollars. Like we need more indie developers, and they they really need that every sale. Triple A publishers a little bit less, but. Indie devs really need this sale. So if you can afford to pay that $13, please at some point do. Because any devs really need the sales. And sometimes it even goes on sale for like 10 All right. All right. Let's uh, put it over here. And some oil over here. Yeah, this is made by a solo dev. He built this game by himself, but he didn't have any help. Now the game is selling well. He might be able to help someone else and hire a second person to help him. I think he said on this Discord that he might be able to hire a second person and stuff to help him get updates out faster, which is great. Are the assets store bought, though? Some of them are. A lot of, a lot of devs that aren't artists or don't have access to 3D... The 3D artists will use um, store assets because even AAA games use store assets. Um, you can find uh, bought things in every game because, you know, sometimes someone just makes a nice model in Unreal that's like a, an apple. And then people just buy the apple instead of paying someone to make the apple again. It's just, just a nice apple. But now that he has, he's going to be able to hire a second person, he might be able to hire an artist that can actually make custom models for him. Depends on where he wants to invest his money, though. He's starting, this game's selling well now, so that he will, will be able to expand his team a little bit. Over this way. There's tons of bought assets, even and stuff like Elden Ring. Yeah, like, assets are there to, to be purchased by anyone, whether you're a AAA developer or an indie developer. 
Uh, unlike a lot of like trash games on Steam, this game is actually crafted well. Like, there's a difference between a person that barely knows how to code or put the game together, and a, and a person that can take assets, combine them in a fun way, and shows that they can go above and above and beyond the the assets. Like, you could swap every asset in this game with a different one that's custom, and it would still be just as fun. Because the the fun in this game is not just the character models or the models of, like, the food and stuff. It's so much more than that. Whoever made this game should do another little, little shop in the town, like, clothing store. He's, on the homepage uh, on the game, he has a laundry list of things that he wants to add to the game. And one of them is having other shops around that you can buy stuff from or deliver groceries to. So, like, you might get a someone calls you up from a restaurant and is like, hey, we need five bags of potatoes for dinner service night. Can you deliver that? And then, like, they'll come and deliver it. You can go and deliver it to them or probably hire a delivery person in the future as well. Yeah. But again, it's, a, it's one developer. He's working as hard as he can. Updates are going to come out, like, super quick. Because, you know, he has to do everything himself right now. So he's doing the best he can. He's been updating the game like crazy since launch. He's had like six updates since the game launched uh, last month. So he's working hard and working, doing things as quickly as he can. Uh, the stalker just kind of stands there. I, I feel like they're on the street because they're supposed to grab packages. He probably just hasn't empty, implemented that yet. Yeah, his updates have been quick and good. Like they're like the restocker, you can tell that he saw that the, saw a big problem in the game and then dedicated his resources to fixing um, that problem before he works on some other stuff. I just got upgraded my store, got my first cashier. Nice. Uh, the, the first cashier helps a lot because that means you can run a walk away from register and help a little bit. Uh, let's go put this over here. And it's not like that soldier you could bring more people on a team easily. I know. If you're like one guy making a game by yourself, like hiring an employee is like a process. You have to learn how to do. Every country has like different laws about hiring people. I think he lives in Turkey, so he'd have to follow, follow Turkish laws for hiring people. Like, imagine, like, you chat just, someone says, I need you to hire someone, and you have to go through the process of figuring out how to even begin. Like, how do I just become a business and hire somebody, like, with no business training, I'd assume. <laughs> you say, oh, God, I got to learn a whole new skill set now. I'm over level 15, but I feel like I'm making little to no profit. Yeah, there's definitely some spikes in, like, when the profit starts rolling in. Uh, your shop level uh, determines how many customers you get a day. And as that goes up, you'll get more customers and they'll buy more each day, which helps a lot. At the beginning, you get very few customers a day. So eventually, a, a good tip is you never have to list the price below market price. You can always go at least a little bit above and they will always buy it. Notice a lot of bigger streamers now have teams. Do they hire themselves or do they have an agency? Uh, teams? Oh, um, on sh Twitch, the way that works with streams is most streamers are not business people. So there's these companies out there that will kind of like, you know, kind of like actors aren't usually business people either. So they hire agents to help them get deals and negotiate on their behalf to like get deals and like movies and stuff. So that's what a lot of these teams do is they will represent like a group of streamers and then you pay them some percent, just like athletes and um, movie stars will pay their agent like 10, 20, 5%, whatever, like varying range of depending on what it is on the deal that the person lands them. So let's say, they get the streamer deal for a thousand dollars 
and then they get to have I don't know ten percent of it, like hundred dollars. So that's how. So the streamer gets ninety dollars and nine hundred dollars, and then the agency gets like hundred dollars of it. So that's what a lot of them do: is they will go around, find deals for streamers, and then negotiate based on their half. But the half, and then they get a cut of whatever they bring them. So the streamer is getting more money, and um, they are getting a cut of the money they bring the streamer. So it's a beneficial to a both parties situation and the streamer also doesn't have to do the negotiation or like the contracts and the they do all that for them so it saves a lot of work uh, accountants are separate the streamer themselves would have to hire an accountant to deal their, with their money Like for me, my uh, co the company that represents me is called Loaded, and they represent me, Lyric, Coke Carnage, uh, Doctor Lupo, um, Sacriel. I think um, can't think. I think Shroud as well. Quite a few people you might recognize the names of. Three jars of peanut butter. That's a lot of peanut butter, sir. Have a great day. What are you drinking in that cup? I'm drinking a latte. And then my my big water bottle is the this one. Uh, let's see. The seventy-five fit. Oh, seventy-five fifty, sir. Thank you very much. A latte, yes, a latte. Which is ironic, since there's not much in there. It's not a lot, eh? Seventy-six fifty. How you get the stalker to stop glitching? Might stay on the shelf in paces. Um, try restarting the game. For me, my guys almost never glitch out. They just work. I, I don't know like why some people keep glitching. Might be hardware related. I don't know. Uh, but some people seem to have their guys glitch out all the time. Just try restarting uh, the game and see if that fixes it. 300 viewers on TikTok goes crazy. Yeah, like 300 viewers on TikTok is a lot. So thank you guys for just... Watching and have a good time. If you're new, I'm Dan. I've been streaming uh, for 15 years now. Well, 15 years in August. We're, we're almost there. Just started recently streaming on TikTok. So if you're new and having a good time, don't forget to follow. I am on all platforms. So if you're watching on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, I'm live on all three platforms right now at the same time. Um, all my profiles are um, below the channel. If you want to follow me everywhere, watch wherever you like. I'll read all the chats. He should hire one of the modders from Nexus. He should just look at the Nexus, see how they implemented some changes, and just implement those changes into the game <laughs> proper. That saved him a lot of time. Um, Viol, Tatamus, thank you for the gaming controller. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. Uh, $9, thank you. I started streaming on a platform called Justin TV, which... Um, and uh, in 2009, before, because before you could you couldn't even make money. It was just about having fun. Back in the day, um, you streamed on Justin TV because it was fun to do so. I, I stream because the reason I stream is I enjoy playing games, and I'm not super social, like in real life. And it was a way for me to like play games and and share gaming experiences with people and like have someone to talk to about them because in real life um you go to your friend or your mom and you're like oh my god i beat i just beat what is the lady in elden ring the tough boss is it mariah no meridia uh i just beat meridia oh my god and they're like okay what is that and i'm like uh oh they just don't care, but on Twitch, when I beat um, 
Melania, Melania, whatever her name is. Chat's like, whoa! That's my favorite part of streaming is the like interaction with, in real time with people. Do you play a MacBook? It's not on Mac yet. There's rumors of a Mac port later this year, though. Possibly. 420. You want to hear what's Nexus? Nexus is a website that hosts a bunch of mods for games. If you ever modded Skyrim or Fallout, like that's the site that hosts all the mods for those games and many others now. They they have like a mod page for almost any game now. All right, sir. That will be um, one ninety one eighty on your card. Thank you. Sushi and fried sounds good right now, doesn't it? How'd you become a Twitch email? Okay, so finishing my story, I started on Justin TV when you just stream for fun, and eventually Justin TV's um, gaming section, which is what I streamed on, broke off from Justin TV and became a site called Twitch. And Twitch uh, is this little tiny site, I don't know if you heard of it, where people stream themselves playing video games. Um, and then it was like the only one for a while that was like big and then you know a couple came here and there but twitch has always been around for the since 2012 and now we got more sites we got youtube has streaming tiktok has streaming um and now you can multi-stream on all platforms that's where i got my start like in 2009 so i've been through everything i've seen i've been through before twitch i've been through um Current Twitch, old Twitch, mid medium Twitch. I've been through the whole thing. I've been through, uh, and now I'm on TikTok, streaming on TikToks, on YouTube, all very different stuff. But it's it's amazing how like streaming has evolved over the years to where now I'm streaming. I'm talking to the TikTok chat, I'm talking to to the other chat, I'm talking to the YouTube chat. Like it's just. It's crazy how you it, it, as a I hate the the phrase, but as an influencer, <laughs> the uh, you have to constantly adapt to everything new, you know, like all the new platforms, all the new um, ways to stream. Constantly, like you got to do the the TikTok videos, you got to do the the reels, the shorts, you got to do it all because that's just how things are now. The, the industry keeps changing and you got to keep changing with it that's how i've been like able to survive for so long and keep it going and and you know I've, I've never been like the one in the top of the category of the people up there but you know i've always been like you know front page you know always like always around always there so i'm like you know i'm not like you know the top end that everyone knows but i'm just like i'm like in a good place where i'm like good enough that enough people know but not too many you know if you get too many you can get some you know some negative nancy's once in a while or soren susans or burly bills that come in and cause trouble like that person that asked that question 10 minutes ago did you see that question like ugh, like what what the hell you guys saw that question responded to I was like what the hell is going on with like my setup? Thank you. I like your name, Dan. It's a great name. Because <laughs> I have that, too. Um, what was I doing? I got distracted. Okay. Sorry. Focus. Focus. Next day. Yeah, in Justin TV times, um, you, I streamed in 360p through Flash Media Encoder. Not OBS. So it was it was a different time. It was a very different time. Uh, I don't know if I can do the capture card to, to make it show what 360p looks like. Let me see. Can I? I doubt I can do it, but 360p, like if I just resize the video itself... Actually, I can't do it. Nope, nope. The capture card won't let me. But nowadays we stream in 1080p and we're like, oh, God, only 1080p? We would have killed for 1080p in, in Justin TV days. <laughs> 360p is like just a, it was almost like um, one of those books where there's a bunch of like schmears and you got to like hold your face to it to see an, a hidden image, you know? 
that's what streams were like back then. There was just a big blur, and you had to like, like you think you can see the orcs and Arthas in there, but you're not really sure. It's just kind of a schmear kaleidoscope of shapes happening. <laughs> you order more chicken? Uh, no, let's let's do that. Sorry, I got distracted. All right, let's go through and order some supplies because we got a little distracted. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah, you can um, hit the little gear icon and set your stream down to 360p to see what it looks like. Um, okay, let's um, let's do our refrigeration things. Oh, we got plenty. We're, like, we could use this middle one here. What is that? Sliced ham? Or a little more sliced ham? Not ham. <laughs> ham. Getting some ham. A little more water. Let's order some water. Get that restocked for us. How long has it taken to get this far in game? About about sixty hours. We've been playing a long time, a long time. At least that's what Steam says. But I think I left the game open. There might be less than that. I don't know. Uh, we got veal. Order some. Ah, uh, we're fine on veal. We got plenty of it. Uh, lots of moussaka and scout. Um, let's get some moussaka and some scout salmon. One, two, three, four, and then scalped gratin, scallops gratin, orange juice. There's no space there. That's why they're not restocking it. Okay. And, oh, thank you, uh, Lupus. Appreciate that. You guys are awesome today. Hmm. Okay, looking good. We need, need some small sushi, looks like. Let's get some small sushi. And completely out of cheddar cheese. The horror. How can one be out of cheese? Think of how many meals you have that have cheese in it. It's a lot. At least for me, a uh, a lot of my meals have some sort of cheese in it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to order those. Get some more um, 12 packs. Beautiful. Would you ever use one of the, more of the mods? I'll, I'll think about it because there are some really nice mods on that Nexus page. Mods that, like, fix bugs and make things a lot better. Ooh, bleach. Let's get some bleach. One, two, three, four, five, six bleach bottles. And some detergent. What is that? Um, Dishwashing liquid, I think. Dish, I think, tablets. One, two, three, four tablets. Get that all stocked. A uh, little butter. Use a little bit more butter. Produce is planned, and Produce is going to have a new mechanic where you weigh stuff. That's going to... I wonder how... I don't know how you're going to do that. I don't know, like, how you take... Are you going to have to, like, pick up the fruit at the register and then put it in the thing and then weigh it and then type the amount in, or will it be automatic? It's going to be interesting to see him implement weight and for... Um, those things. Ooh, we're out of chicken. Completely out of chicken. Get more chicken, please. Chicken. One, two, three, four. Four chicken. And then a little extra. And then we're good on some fries. We use a little more fries. One, two. Did you get bleach? Yeah, I got a little bit of bleach. Uh, what about green bleach, though? Yep, we're good on that. Thank you for the reminder. Chicken, thank you for the reminder, Monique. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. Looks like a little more beer. As chat reminds me, you can never have enough beer. One, two, three. People like their beer. If you take away their beer, they get upset. Uh, potatoes. Potatoes. One, two, three, four. 
Ooh, candy. We're almost out of candy and a little bit of chocolate. Candy chocolate. One, two, three, four, and then chocolate. Okay, there should be a couple of boxes out here. I quit. We're done. Okay, I can't. That's too many. Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright, get them let's let's start. At least they'll stock everything for me. Just gotta get them on the shelf. Just get things off the sh on the shelf. Dan, I blame you. I had to buy this game, and now I've been playing it for three days straight. Love the stream. <laughs> Good. Let the store make you powerful. <laughs> Embrace the shopping center. <laughs> Good. Another falls to the dark side of retail. Uh, what can this be played on? I like to play it on a chair. <laughs> Sometimes you can do a sofa or a pillow. <laughs> no, I, it's it's only on a PC currently. You can only play it on PC. At least for now. I'm sure someday we'll get more ports, but for now it's only PC. Uh, bleach. Don't forget, add another OJ tag in the fridge. Oh, thank you. I forgot about that. Yep. Once I pick up that orange juice box, I'm going to put it on there. Oh, it's right here. Thanks for the reminder. And I'll help them out by loading that shelf. Aren't I a great boss? Mm. Try a plastic chair. I In my 20s... I had an apartment, and all I had was a small table to play, put my computer on, a cheap plastic chair, and a TV and an Xbox on, like, a couple boxes. That's it. That's all I needed. I, I was like, done. House furnished. <laughs> That's all I needed. It's like... When you play World of Warcraft all day, you don't need, like, you don't need pictures and lamps and paintings and, like, rug. No, you just you just need the basics. Just get the, just get online, get food, get some cheap food, like ramen or something, and just play WoW all day. <laughs> Did that for a long time. I tell you, it was good. I traded my social life um, in my early 20s. I was spending, like, you know, a lot of money at the bars on drinks and, you know, cover charges. Because, you know, it was all college students that I hung out with at, at, around college time. And they just wanted to go to the bars and drink all the time. And then that was expensive. But then I traded my social life. For only fifteen dollars a month, I could play WoW all day, every day, and I saved so much money doing that. So much money, I didn't have to buy anything other than the subscription and the internet. It was a good deal, and I never got hangovers again. Well, I, I did have like up all night raiding hangovers when going to work. It's like, man, are you okay at work next day? Are you okay? You look so tired. Are you hungover? Yeah, we were raiding Ragnaros last night, and we almost we wiped like twenty times. <laughs> well, no, it was good times. Good times. Social life was expensive. Yeah, especially when like when you're in your twenties and you you're not earning much because you're you know working a job that will take you while you're going to classes and stuff. It was a good trade. Restocking my store until 5 a.m. I know, like it's the restocking can be like a whole day thing. All right, eggs. We'll put those right there. More eggs. Yeah, there's something very relaxing about this game about taking things that are disorganized and making them organized. Make a 
that I think that's what makes the game so soothing is like you turn chaos into order. Uh what did you get your degree in? <laughs> um I played a little too much WoW in college. <laughs> Uh, we'll just say that. Uh, yeah, um, I played too much WoW in college. Uh, luckily, um, as an influencer, no one cares if you have a degree or not, which is great. <laughs> Whew, dodge that bullet. And now, uh, I can play WoW on stream and people watch and it's great. Playing lots of WoW paid off. Yes, I was, I was training for my profession from a young age. <laughs> oh, thank you for all those follows on TikTok, guys. Lots of TikTok followers. I appreciate that. Thank you for giving us that follow. Appreciate it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and stock the shelf. We need some eggs. Let's get those going. And over here, get some, oh, some bleach. Get that on the shelf. And we have oh uh the scout salmon stuff. Put that up there. And a second one of those. Put these here too. Ah, uh, some more eggs. Feel like they should be stocking more. There's kind of stand of there, but I guess they must be more stocked than I thought. Alright, throw that there. Uh, Musaka. Oh, there you go. Put that there. Uh, man, I'd be so annoyed about having to drive around all those packages. <laughs> uh, the cut, the people in the game, they just drive right over my packages. They don't give a one iota of a care. They just plow right through. Okay, chocolate. You know what's going to be great, guys, is when we open up the game one day and we see the update notes that say, Restockers will now take packages off the front porch and put it in the stock room. I'll be like, that'll be a poggers day. Just like, let's go. Let's go. I saw on Discord that's what they want to do. Perfect. Or even if they just hire another, like you, there's another job that doesn't restock, but they they load boxes into the back room. Like a receiver, I think is the job. Hello, Dan and Chat. Everything's all right with you. We're good, Vorton Gen Gamer. That's a good idea. Let's do a quick uh, vibe check of chat. How are we doing? On a scale of one to five, how's your day going? One is a bad day. Five is an amazing day. Three is an average day. What are we feeling today? One through five. Go ahead and type in chat what you're feeling. What you feeling? Let's see. Ooh, I'm seeing lots of fun, lots of threes, some fives, couple of two. Ooh, a negative one. Ooh, I'm sorry. That's a rough day. You never want to see a negative. Zero. Oh man, I'm sorry. Four working, working on a Sunday. Oh yeah, I'm a ride to work on lots of Sundays. But the good thing about Sundays was that the big boss didn't come into work that day, so we could just, you know, not work as hard, and she wasn't there to complain. Although one day she snuck in and surprised us all when we were talking. Oh, and we were in trouble. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm playing the game. I'll listen to you. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people are do like to do that. Like to play the game while listening to someone else who's playing the game on on a stream. Good stuff. Oh, if you're watching on TikTok, if you guys wouldn't mind just double tapping the screen. If you're, it um, likes the stream. And TikTok really likes when people interact like that. If you double tap to like or follow or hit the share button like they it makes it push out in the for you page and spreads the stream so it's 
amazing thing you can do if you if um you feel like it. Thank you. Oh, thank you for uh, lots of likes pouring in. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to drink. Ah, much better. Oh my God, the store's not open. <laughs> I was like, where are the customers? I'm waiting and waiting and no one's here. I forgot to open the damn store. <laughs> Sitting here like a like a fool just waiting for no one for someone that's not coming. Uh let's grab some more milk. Uh yeah, I've been great listening while I'm lying down since I've been under the weather days. Thank you for that. Well thank you for watching. Hope you're having fun. Oh my god, later this week, guys, uh, a game I've been waiting for for a long time is coming out called Dragon's Dogma 2. I cannot wait for that. When that comes out, I'll be streaming the hell of it. Oh my god, a cute black cat playing a game. I've never seen that one before, Radium Zombie. Thank you for that gift. That was adorable. It was just an animated thing of a cat playing a, a handheld game. It was adorable. Uh, I'm going to work on my um, character some more um, before we start playing. I'm going to try to make a character that looks like me. Extra bald, though. <laughs> Extra baldness. Uh, will you uh, be using one of Julia's pawns? No, because I don't want the emotional damage. A gaming controller for Random Zombie. Thank you very much. That's super kind of you. Thank you. Good idea to put your computer in the storage. Yeah, I like to put it back there to keep get it out of the way. Put it on the floor when I'm ordering stuff. Hello, ma'am. That'll be 4075. Have a great day. Hello. You look like an accountant or a lawyer. It's got that look about you. Uh, 70, 50. You gave me 71. Have 56. Mm hmm. Give her a discount. It would be cool if they brought coupons. I think coupons are fun. Like, scan them and then watch the number go down. You got like an extreme couponer that walks out of the store with like 50 of an item for a couple pennies. <laughs> Have you seen these extreme couponers that go into stores and just like will walk out with a cartload of stuff for like $5? They they find like all these crazy ways to stack coupons and sales and it's madness. And then you they show them at home and they have like a a closet just just full of toothpaste and full of this. I'm like, how will you ever go through all that? <laughs> it's, it's just like I guess it's their hobby. You got to spend a lot of time like figuring that stuff out. It's like a full time job getting all those coupons. Some of them donate the stuff to like the homeless and the needing stuff, and that's a good that's like a good way to do couponing and get supplies for people that need it. Might used to be one of those couponers or closet was full of soap, toothpaste, and health items. Yeah, stuff that never expires, like toothpaste and stuff like that you'll always use. That's good to have coupons for. And it was good as <laughs> you could probably always be like, Aunt, I need Auntie, I need some toothpaste. Here you go. Have five boxes. You never got to buy toothpaste. Unless she's stingy. Sometimes sometimes the people can be stingy. They like to hoard it. It's like they're a dragon with their treasure. Fun fact, toothpaste expires. I did not know that. How? Toothpaste expires? Did not know that. Point seven five. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know there was an ex expiration date on toothpaste. When I worked at retail, couponers got money back. I had a lady came in and bought uh, for the local fire department. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, some so because the way coupons work is the manufacturer will pay the store for the coupon. So sometimes couponers can get like the item will be less than the coupon. And the, so, like, they'll buy an item for three dollars, but the coupon's for five, so they'll have like a negative two, so they'll have to like pay you two dollars. It 
if any of you guys are like couponers or like to save money, there's two apps I can recommend on the um, for your phone if you go shopping. Uh, one is called Fetch, and Fetch you just scan your receipts or your email, and they just like give you points, and you can change exchange the points for gift cards. That one's super easy to do. It, it requires like no effort, and then you get some uh, some money back and stuff. The other one is called Ibotta. I B O T T O. That one's a lot more like uh, you got to like pre-select off. It takes a lot of money, a lot of time to um, save money in that app because you got to like know what you're getting ahead of time. But you save a lot of money with both apps. You can use them both together. No, not an ad. I just use it all the time if I'm buying something. Like uh, last night, I think I saved eleven dollars. Um, on some head and shoulders and some cat food. So it's like, yay. Easy stuff. There's lots. Those are just the two I used. I think there's a lot more. Those are just the two that I use. Because if you're a couponer or an extreme couponer, it can take up many hours of your life going through all the coupons and sales and trying to, like, it, these. sometimes these people, it becomes an, an obsession with them, the couponing. So I, I limit myself to two apps. I'm like, okay, two apps, I'm done. I'm not going to spend hours on this again. Dan use shampoo? Yeah. Uh, there's no promo codes, Luke Romick. Don't you have dandruff? No, Kevin has dandruff. Sorry, Sorry Kevin, I didn't mean to tell him you have dandruff. <laughs> but Kevin uses um, the uh, head and shoulders shampoo, so we bought him some. I got a couple coupons for it. <laughs> Exposed. I revealed his deep, dark secret about dandruff. <laughs> My game starts lagging me badly at 9 every day. Yeah, it's the lights. Lights cause um, lag. I don't know why. Maybe it increases the performance of the game or something. So if you're having lots of lag... Uh, it's probably the lights. See if you can get rid of a few, maybe. Might help a little bit. Oh, so many followers in the TikTok chat. Thank you, guys. And shares. Thank you, guys. How could you? I know. Oh, there you are. No one's waiting in my line for some reason. So, wow, that's a lot of groceries. <laughs> It wasn't the biggest price I've seen, but that was a huge volume of groceries. A lot of big items. Hello there. Now your total is going to be... Let's see. Uh, 141 75 Have a great day. The only form of payment in the game is cash and, and a card. Um, they haven't... There's no other forms of payment yet. Like check or... EBT or crypto or, you know, stuff like that. No Bitcoin payments. No gift certificates. You know, that sort of stuff. I'm sure they'll add that kind of stuff over time. Wow, three kegs. Not bad. $203. Thank you. He, there is... There is going to be an update in the future to put things on sale to draw in more customers to buy an item. So you know how stores have sales all the time. Um, it is planned to have an update that you will be able to set sale prices for stuff. Do you chat with your TikTokers? Yes, I chat with everyone. Uh, what? Where else do you go live? Oh, I'm on um, TikTok, YouTube, and tic Twitch all at the same time. So watch wherever you like. I'm watching all the chats. Adult Sid came come in every day. Yeah, they could use some more models for characters and stuff. All right, next day. We need to hit level fifty six for our next update, so we gotta save a lot of money. There should be an update to auto order when inventory goes below a certain amount. <laughs> you know what I worry though is eventually. With all these automations in the game and, and all um, stuff, you might get to the point that they automate everything and all you do is stand there and the store just makes money every day. You just sit here and watch the store make money. 
and then you just click next day. Watch it make money next day. Everything gets ordered. Everything gets shelled. Everything gets checked out. You just sit here and just manage. Or just be an owner and walk around the, bo the, the block, go in your cruise ship, take a vacation, you know. <laughs> just everything's done automatically. I know. That's the only thing I worry about there for being too much automation. All right, anything we're out of. Let's see. Looks like big sushi. We could use some... Mm, that's not moussaka. <gasps> that's lasagna. No wonder they're not restocking it. I bought so much moussaka. I ordered the wrong thing like 10 times. I reordered Musaka three times thinking it was this, but no, Musaka is over there. Oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a doo doo head. Okay, Musaka. One, two, three. And then, oh. And then scalped. Scallop gratin. Oh, T. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, uh, Silver. How many levels? I'm not sure. Uh, let me check the uh, the app thing here. Uh, the top license requires store level 90. Oh, oh man. Uh, currently, we have 71 hours in the game, and I'm only level 49 and a half. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to run the shop until the end of time. I'm going to grind up those levels. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, Oh, we're out of that. What is that down there? That is oh prosciutto. Let's order some more prosciutto as well before I forget. So... Setting, yep, 4K at 120. All right, let's see. What did I just say? <laughs> Pro prosciutto. Oh, my God, I'm getting old. It's happening more and more where, like, I say something. I think to myself, I'll remember this. A couple minutes pass. I'm like, what did I just say again? Oops. I need some more Ham. Ham pastry. And I think we're good on just about everything over here. Sushi. Big sushi, though. We're taking a loan out? Um, loans are fine as long as you pay them off early. Don't do the payments over 15 days or whatever. It take You'll lose so much money to that. Just like the minute you can pay it off early, do it. Because it'll save you thousands of dollars, especially on the big loan. Uh, I just said it. I said it. I looked at it. Big sushi. Sushi. Big sushi. One, two, three. And then. Use some more tuna and some more hummus. And a little more milk and some cheese. Milk and cheese. Hummus, milk, and cheese. Let's get those ordered. Hummus. You have a line. Oh, my God. I do. <laughs> oh, I, I fired that employee that was supposed to be ringing you out, guys. Oh, man. I guess I'll do his job for him. Man, can't get good help now nowadays. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, he totally fired. Have a great day. Sorry about that. All right, thank you, sir. That'll be $86 on your card. Three cheese. Oh, and a secret beer. Four seventy-five. Have a great day. Hello there. And... Exact change. Goodbye. 
Anyone have pre-built PC recognitions to play this game? This game doesn't require like crazy requirements. Just like a average gaming PC should be able to run a game like this just fine. Doesn't need anything crazy. Oh, tuna. You're right. Tuna. Okay. Tuna. One, two, three. Um, humus. Milk. Some milk. Uh, probably some six packs of milk, too, because I think I bought like 20 of them. You can have up to four cashiers, I believe. They are very slow, though. Like, I'm going to hire another cashier. Boop. And now he's going to ring people out for me. But they are extremely slow. You are equal to about two and a half cashiers because they are so slow. But they're aut they're automatic. They do everything perfectly. How do you keep everything stocked? Um, I like to order lots of boxes, throw them on the stocking shelves, and let the restockers do all the stocking for me. It saves so much time. Oh, we need tea. I need the tea. Uh, let's see. Uh, tea. Black tea. How about green tea? Could use another green tea as well. Uh, there's currently no micromanagement on employees. You just hire them and fire them, and that's it. There's no no leveling. There's no shifts. There's no, like, I hope they do expand on the employee system to make employees a little more, a little more involved, just a little bit. Like, you know, scheduling shifts. Make people call off one day, and you have to cashier. Like, stuff like that can make, add, like, a lot of dynamic to the game to make it fun. Not that it necessarily needs it. This would be nice for a little more immersion. Yeah, like they try to unionize and you got a uh, union bust, you know, stuff like that. What typical like managers do. Um, uh, red pasta. We're out of red pasta. One, two, three. Boom. Yeah, eventually, I, I wonder if they'll add, like, you know, Karens or angry people, you know, like, that want to cause a fuss. You need to talk to the manager, and you got to, like, calm them down and stuff. I wonder if they'll, like, do that at some point. Because right now, everyone just is happy and stays happy. They don't really, like ever get mad even when they're mad they're not they're, like, there's no real consequence to it uh tea uh, put the tea there and black tea put it there and more black tea boom milk uh put you here and that there starting to get a little bit of lag um, i might have to restart the game the frame rate's definitely a little choppy at night with the lights on. All right, uh, put you here. Let me hire another restocker, too. Let's see. Management. One restocker is plenty. Eh, we'll try, we'll try four. Let's see if there's enough work for four. That seems like a lot of people. That is a lot of restocking happening. They should call this game Restock Simulator. Yeah, like, it is a big part of the game for sure. I can see that. But at the same time, the game isn't done yet. The end game isn't finished. You, When the game is done, you won't be just doing boxes all day and stuff. There will be much more stuff for you to do. He's working as hard as he can, but he's working by himself, and he's doing what he can. He's trying real hard to get the game, get lots of features in the game, so you don't have to do, like, any, all, only do the same jobs over and over again. If you paid your bills, you don't need to pay them manually. They'll, they'll pay themselves automatically. They take them out of your paycheck every day. 
The only thing you have to pay manually is loans. Loans will get late fees if you don't pay them on time. So manually pay your loans for the um, bills. They will auto pay at the end of the day. You'll see a little negative amount and then when they subtract it from your total. I don't know what happens if you don't have enough money to pay your bill in the day. I haven't seen that happen yet. Has anyone had that happen where you didn't have enough money to pay your bill? Like, I wonder what happens at that point. Uh, thank you, JP, for following on TikTok. Appreciate that. Just negative money. Happened to me and it went negative. Oh, they give so they give you a negative money total. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, throw that there. I was wondering if it would like trigger a game over or something, but I, I guess they didn't do that. Which is good. They break your kneecaps. <laughs> that would that would be the mafia. Uh, we don't know who we loaned from, but it could be if that is from the Mafia. Uh, Wayne Omen, thank you for that 40-month resub. Appreciate that. Thank you for your support. You don't have to pay rent and utilities manually. No, it subtracts it from the, your profits at the end of the day if you don't manually pay it. So just just ignore it, and it'll just auto-subtract from your money. There's no penalty for letting it auto-do it as well. Uh, let's see more of this stuff. Oh, next day. Whoop. Yeah, end in the day so I can actually see at night set and they're in the daytime. Daytime, there's no frame rate issues. It's just at night, the lights come on and the lights hit the performance a lot. I'm curious if I turn the lights on now if I also get a performance hit. Yeah, the frame rate goes down when the lights come on. I don't know why. Maybe it's their shadow casting lights and it causes a performance hit. I don't know. Yeah, he's a solo dev, so he's going to be like implementing features slowly. As, as fast as he can at being solo. Alright, uh, let's put that there. Um, I don't organize the stock room because I never have to use it. The... The employees are computers, and they know where everything is. They know where everything goes. So I don't have to have any sort of rhyme or reason or organization because they will just – because they are the computer, and they'll just know where it is in the back and where it goes out on the floor. If I had to grab items from the back, I would organize it, but I don't. So I just throw it in an empty spot. Do you update your prices when go up and down? Uh, Not usually. Like occasionally I'll go through it just it's just kinda tedious. <laughs> you get tired of doing it after a while. Uh how do you sprint on PC? Uh you just hold the shift button and then you go fast. The shift key is all it takes. Alright, throw the pasta there. Uh what we got? Uh some more prosciutto. Prosciutto is delicious. If you're unfamiliar, it's like un, it's unsmoked, cured, almost like bacon, but not smoked. It's very delicious. And oh. you didn't make a sprint. Yep, uh, you just hold down Shift to sprint. It does kind of trigger motion sickness quicker, but. Yeah. All right, and boop. okay. Uh, we got most of that. They're restocking it. That is not sushi. <laughs> okay, let me restart the game. <laughs> So if you ever get the bug where they put the wrong item in the wrong spot, um, just go back to the main menu and go back in and they'll fix it. See, all fixed. <laughs> Same thing if your if your restockers ever get stuck, um, you can just go back and go back in and it'll fix it as well. You can't carry more than one box? No. 
we're hoping we get some sort of Dolly update where um, Dolly partner will come in and help us move box. No. Uh, a Dolly where you can grab a Dolly and load it up and then move mini boxes at once. That would be amazing. Or even items off the shelf would be nice. Got a little forty-eight for realize there was a sprint game chain. <laughs> yes. Once you learn there's a sprint button, you will always be sprinting with the sprint button. I found myself never moving without it for a while, but really, really, we're just gonna just chuck it right there. Okay, that was not put away properly. Reese, this guy is named Reese. Last name Talker. Reese Talker. Reese Talker. <laughs> ketchup? Oh, yeah. I need to get more ketchup. You're right. Ketchup. That was so bad. And another box sitting in the middle of the floor. Let's go put it back here. Okay. Um, let me see. We're completely out of hand soap. Let's get some hand soap ordered. Are you enjoying the game so far? Uh, yes. It is a great game. Even though it's not finished yet, it is a super fun game, even in its unfinished state. Chat can uh, vouch me, vouch for me on this. It, you just start playing it, and the hours melt away. It doesn't... F like, you play it, and it doesn't feel like you've been playing it for five hours when it's been five hours. It just feels much shorter than that. The time just sort of flies by when you're playing it. It's crazy. All right. Uh, need some more chicken. How about the sliced chicken? Okay, on that. Uh, let's do flour. Yeah, the re uh, changing all the prices in the shop is really tedious, so that's why I don't do it too often. Occasionally I will, but most of the time I'm just like, ugh. It's a difference of like a couple cents in profit a lot of the times. Sometimes it's bigger, like a dollar or two. But there, you know, there is a mod on the Nexus that will automatically update your prices every day for you. So if any of you guys are into modding and want to install a mod, there is a mod that will auto update your prices for you. There's also a mod that will automatically turn the lights on for you when it becomes nighttime. There's also a mod that'll make it so the customers will go to the empty lane first instead of piling up in one lane until it's full and then go another one. There's also a mod that lets you change the name of the store. <laughs> Modders are going crazy on this game, which is awesome. There is also a mod that will, instead of boxes falling from the sky, they will automatically go on your shelf in the back room. That one is just like, whoa. So you don't have to like, do this all the time. Throw things on the shelf. They're just automating all the things. That is cheating. This is my view on it. It's a single player game. And you can make the game as fun as you want in any way you want. Because you're not going to hurt anybody. It's a solo game. If you want to have the boxes automatically go in the box, go for it. It's your game. You paid the thirteen dollars for it. Do what you want. It's your game. Have fun. Oh, it's uh, the same place you download all the mods for like Skyrim and Fallout. It's a uh, Nexus mods. Just called Google Nexus and Supermarket Simulator. They host like millions of mods for all kinds of games. Why are the stalkers just standing around? Because that means they don't have enough to do. So. I'll fix that. We don't have enough to do. Oh. Let me fix that for you. I'll refix that for you, too. <laughs> oh, we don't need two, three cashiers. We only need two. All right, open the store. 
eventually we'll get to the the point in the game where everything is everything is just so automated. You just turn on the game, make money automatically, and can walk away from your computer. Just be like, I'm playing. Uh, Dan, what are you doing right now? Why are you in the park? I'm playing Supermarket Simulator. I'm earning all kinds of money. But you're not playing it. It's playing itself. I think I have a million dollars now. Isn't that great? You need ketchup? Thank you. Uh, what's a tip that you um, would share? Enjoy having fancy haircuts when you're young, guys, because... You may get to a point in life where a barber is the last thing you'll ever need because there's nothing to cut. Enjoy having full sets of hair while you're young because you may not have that when you get in your 30s. Oh, you meant a game, a tip for the game. Oh, I'm so sorry. I misunderstood. I failed that assignment. <laughs> um... In the game, yes. Okay. I don't recommend taking loans on too early because the cost of the loan is quite steep in the early game. And you will you might find yourself in a position where you get a big expansion, but then you're just, not, you're, you're just not making any money each day because all your money is going to paying back the loans. So upgrade slowly and take loans slowly as well. Loans are fine in the game, but definitely, like, show as soon as you can afford an upgrade, don't do it until you have all your shelves full of products and you got more money than you need to upgrade because you can get into points where you're kind of stalled and you can't, like, do much. You're just stuck with you don't have a lot of money. So keep that in mind when you're playing. The start of the game is a bit rough with profits and stuff, but... It does get better as your store level gets better because you get the customers will come in in bigger numbers and they'll buy more at once. So just focus in early game on getting that store level up. Uh, One dollar. Have a great day. Hello. On your card, seventy-five dollars. Thank you. Hello, ma'am. Um, let's see. Ooh, you look, uh, exact change. Perfect. Have a great day now. Hello, curly fries and. Pootikins. I love that name, Pootikins. What level in the game are you? I am currently level 49. Uh, if you're on TikTok, we're streaming in vertical and horizontal at the same time. You click the little square icon, it'll go into horizontal. And horizontal is where you can see the UI in the top right. It gets cut off in vertical, though. Um, it's not super necessary to see it, but if you, if you care about that, you can see it in horizontal mode. But I am level 49. I have about $3,900 right now. 9825. Self checkout is planned. Uh, there's a lot of features planned. We'll show you guys um, the full list in a little bit. How's it going? Started playing last week. It's going great. How are you doing? It does take the progression is definitely a bit slow as you start getting to level store level 30 and 40. It does take a it's quite a grind, but it's still fun even all these hours later. Uh, I've never played a game in ultra wide, um, but I do live my uh, life as ultra wide with my gut. I'm ultra wide right here, so I don't need to have my have that in a game too. I've never ch checked out that for games though. One fourteen seventy five. Thank you. <laughs> this have an update. It had an update last weekend that added the restockers, but we're still waiting on the next update. Uh, he is currently working on it. We don't know what it is yet because he made the mistake last weekend of announcing that there was an update and then people were being quite, quite rude to him on his Discord about the game. So he's going to be a little less forthcoming with what he's working on until it's more ready. Uh, 50... Looks so fun. It feels it fills that childhood fantasy of like running on your little grocery store or little business. It's fun. Alright. Oh my god, I forgot. Did you find everything okay today, sir? Could I interest you in a Dan's Groceries credit card? You will save five percent on your purchase today. 
No? Okay. Thank you. Dollar seventy-five. All right, that'll be forty-eight dollars. Have a great day. Are you a dance grocery member? Uh, it's free to sign up, and you can save on purchases sometimes. No? Okay. Have a great day. All right, ma'am. Forty-eight dollars. Have a great day. Wonder if I'll add secret shoppers. Who knows? There's lots of things. After this day's over, I'll show you guys the list of planned features that we are confirmed he wants to work on. Save on purchases. Yeah, every every grocery store wants you to have the, be like a club member just to get sales nowadays. I don't. When I was a kid, no one had that. Like a grocery store just had sales, and you got the sale just by shopping there. But now every store wants you to have like some membership, or and they all have a credit card too. They want you to sign up for four packs of toilet paper. Wow, someone's having a busy night. All right, thank you. I believe what they started it because. I think they do it because they can track how much you're shopping and what you're shopping for, and then they can sell that data to advertisers. So it's a way for them to make extra money as a grocery store. <laughs> Welcome to Dance Rewards. The purchases for goes are fuel points. <gasps> what if, what if we have fuel points in the game and we can run a gas station too? Outside, people can save on their gas if they buy at my grocery store. I would do that. Do any of you guys have a Costco around um, where you live? Um, there's a Costco down the street, and I kid you not, every day, every day, there is an army of cars lined up to get gas at that gas station every day, all hours of the day. Just everyone's getting gas at Costco. It is packed. It is mo like lines down the street sometimes. It is madness. Costco is just, they just, they, they just figured out how to do this, the, the, the um, warehouse store thing better than anyone else like they just they got it down to a science uh like bj's lows are fine but they just they don't compare to costco costco just they're just crazy good at what they do and 191 25 thank you use Publix. you were talking about like the um the warehouse stores like Costco and Sam's Club and ones where you like buy you don't buy like a small package you buy like a monstrous family size of everything when you're there uh, let's see some grocery stores do do fuel points though and have like their have like a gas station outside uh how much cheaper uh it depends i think Costco does usually have the cheapest gas if you're a member of Costco that's why a lot of people use it to save money. All right, next day. Harris Teeter, yeah, I, we go to Harris Teeter all the time too. Harris Teeter and Kroger are the same company, so because Kroger bought out Harris Teeter, I think a while ago. Um, so now Harris Teeter has the ten for tens and stuff, double coupon days. I just remember that packed in California, thankfully. Oh, you're lucky. I'm in North Carolina and like. The two places that are in North Carolina that there's always a line down the street, Chick-fil-A and Costco. They're just, people are obsessed with those two companies here. Obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the, um... so these are the, if you're on the main page of the game, on the top right, you can see the planned features here. There is... These are this is everything that he's planning on adding to the game. So, moving items without boxes, door interactions, 
Detail settings menu. Cleaning. Customization. More decorations and furniture. Self-checkout counter. Detailed economy app to see price changes, customer statistics, inventory, and set all the prices. Shoplifters. Security guards. CCTV. Anti-theft doors. Expiration dates for some items. Putting items on sales to attract more customers. Online orders and delivery around the city. Bigger city to travel and deliver around. Random wholesale offers to sell a lot of products at lower price for instant income. Veggies and fruits and weighing them to sell. Complete day cycle to run your store at nights too. Purchasing goods from a local market at lower cost by physically going there. See, he's got like a laundry list of things that are planned for this game. Yeah, it's fresh produce where you like have to weigh them to, you know, instead of just most items in the store, you just scan it, but uh, fruits and veggies will require you to like weigh them to see what their weight is. Uh, we don't know what he's working on now. His his update, his last update was on the fifteenth. It was a hot fix for the storage room lag. Uh, so we don't know what he's working on now. Could be anything. Could be anything on that list. I think he said he's working on the settings menu to help people that can turn settings down and stuff. How do you play on a regular PC laptop? Just download Steam onto your laptop and install the game from Steam. Um, hopefully it runs it fine. It, the, can, the game can get a little laggy with um, when it gets a little big on a laptop and stuff. True, Traveler. But to be fair, uh, every simulator game gamifies the actual work, so... Restocking shelves isn't as simple as holding down a button, you know. All right, let me go. Let's do some more ordering. Let's get some stuff ordered. Let's get some stuff ordered over here. And then before we open today, get the shelves a little more stocked. Tally's getting married this week. Yeah, I saw that. Um, he and Lulu are getting married, which is awesome. I'm happy for them. They've been together for a long time. And they're finally going to make it official, which is awesome. Carl Papa, thank you for that 12-month resub. You are awesome. Oh, thank you, uh, Charlotte Clean. Hey, what's up? Uh, not much damage. How you doing? So I need more space. Uh, yeah, the game is about 4 gigs. Um, it's not that big compared to most games nowadays, but 4 gigs can be um, tough for a hard drive. Can't put the storage room now? Yeah, you can move this. I like to move it out on the floor while I'm ordering um, just so I can get to it quicker. All right, so let's do ketchup. One, two, three. Um, potatoes. Two, three. Uh, what about actual potatoes? Yeah, we are completely out of potatoes. Order all those. Um... Potatoes and pasta. Let's see, pasta. One, two, one, two, one, two. Perfect. Oh, let's get all the rice as well. Try to get everything restocked if we can. Uh, looks like all the coffee that we're good on blue coffee, but we use the others. So let's grab some more coffee. Two, oh, three, four. Nope, five, six on those. A little more green toilet paper. This is a real life simulator. <laughs> you would think so. Like, when I first saw this game, I was like, working a retail job? That's fun. And I downloaded it. I'm like, okay, I'll try it out for like an hour. I'm sure I'll get bored of it. It doesn't look super fun. You're just restocking games. And then an hour later, I was like, oh, my God, I'm out of potatoes. How am I going to get more potatoes? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry, man. We're out of potatoes. I'm, I'll am i get some more potatoes. <laughs> and now 80 hours later, I'm still stocking them shelves. It just somehow just taps into a certain fun in this game. It's hard to explain it. It's just it's just really fun. It doesn't sound fun on paper when you read the description of the game. It's like, oh, just running a store. I've done that in the past. 
It's not that fun. But this one is. That's the magic of gaming. Yes, I know. So good. <laughs> oh, my God. So many new followers on TikTok. Thank you so much, guys. Following helps out the channel so much. So thank you for the follows and the likes. Those are amazing. Thank you, guys. Sorry, I put my chapstick on. Does anyone else have chronically dry lips that you have to, like, you live with chapstick because if you don't have it, your lips dry out like crazy. Been that way my whole life, even as a kid. Just chronically chapped lips. Now me want to buy a PC just to play this game. I mean, it's a good game. I don't know. Buying a, although, PC gaming right now is better than it's ever been. Games are coming out on PC regularly, and we're getting good ports of most of them now. So PC gaming is at its peak. Like, now is the time to have a gaming PC. And what's great is we're getting less and less exclusives. So it means that you can play most games now on your gaming PC without having to own a console. I mean, there's still some holdouts, Nintendo... Sony is still doing some um, exclusives here and there um, on their system. But for the most part, Microsoft, all their games are on PC now, which is great for the consumer. So if you're, if you're thinking about getting a PC, now's the time. Do I segue into our monthly sponsor? Do I do it? Oh, that's so shameless. Uh, unless someone had asked... Unless someone in chat asked me where they can get a good PC, that wouldn't be so shameless. I'd just be answering a question. If someone would, were to ask that, then I could, you know, do that. Um, let's see. Oh, Dan, where can I get a good PC? Funny you should mention that. We have a monthly sponsor, Starforge Systems. If you scroll below the channel and on our profile and check them out, they sell PCs all kinds of budget from um, low lower end with a good... Uh, Decent price point to the top of the line. Check out our monthly sponsor, Starforge. And think about upgrading your PC. Just click on your link and it'll let them know that I sent you. Thank you. Okay, good. Woo. I thought I was selling out, but no, just answer the question. Just answer the question. I got my PC from Zinette Love It. Nice. I'm glad you got a good PC. Having a good PC is amazing because a PC will last a lot longer than a console will on average because you can keep upgrading parts in your PC um, versus uh, versus uh, with a console you got to usually replace it every like five or eight, eight years but if you got like a good PC now like like a, even if you're playing on like a 1080 you it still runs PC games nowadays Sure, you might have to turn settings down, but you can still play games, even modern games releasing now on like a 1080, a 2080. Like, sure, you got to turn some stuff down, but you can still play games on them. Like, the games releasing this year, like PC, PCs tend to last a lot longer. I run Squad full graphics on my 1080 just fine. Yeah, it's like 1080 is still a good card, even all these years later. Uh, you don't have like this is um myth that you have to upgrade your PC every time there's an upgrade, which is just not true. It's nice. If you want to, like, max out all the graphics and stuff, that's... You, you might have to, but you can... Thankfully, on PC, you can turn settings down, so you can play even on older hardware for a long time. Um, Let's get some mayo. Oh, thank you, Sensei. I appreciate that. Some mayonnaise. Patty Mayonnaise from Doug. I remember Patty Mayonnaise. Do you remember Doug? That was a good show. Doug, I think it was on Nickelodeon. Uh, what's this game called? It's called Supermarket Simulator. It's only on Steam currently. Alright, let's go ahead and stock the shelves here. Um, Let's do over here. Let's get some stuff on the shelf. Have them put it on the um, shelf for me. Thanks to that update, I don't have to like put things on shelves ever anymore. I just put them on the back shelf, and they will find it for me. 
once I put it on the shelf at least once. All right, let's go put that there. I'm still early developing my store, working towards unlocking the eight to 13 sections. I've been playing a long time and I am, I still have many upgrades left. The price starts getting astronomical. The biggest upgrade in the game for your store space wise, the last upgrade costs $160,000. I don't think I've seen half of that money in my store yet. That's for one square of expansion at the end. 160,000. Just whoa. Whoa. Not the best of fully restock the shelves though. It depends. Sometimes they won't restock a shelf until it's 25% empty. They won't keep it fully stocked like all the time. Otherwise they would just keep running back and forth every time someone bought something. So once the shelf is 25% empty, then they'll auto go to restock it. But the good thing is they will, if your store is closed and no one's buying a thing, they will fully restock everything. Yeah, that's that's why they don't like, if you only have like a few items missing, they don't restock those. They wait until it's a little more empty. 160000 dollars I know. Just crazy. Yeah, I'm sure, like, as big as this shop is, this is more like a gas station or a bodega. It's not really a supermarket yet. I feel like a supermarket is m much bigger. So I wonder if we're going to, like, eventually get to that point where it is supermarket size, where you have, you're kind of more like a Target or a Walmart versus a, actually, those are, or like just a big giant superstore, like a. Do you guys have Wegmans near you? Wegmans is a really nice grocery store, but that's huge. I don't know. Wegmans is only in a certain uh, certain parts of the country, though, so not everyone has Wegmans. But Wegmans is a gr a beautiful grocery store. That's massive, and I I expect like the shop to get that big one thing things that are missing from the game a butcher section a bakery um a seafood section um a place a place where people can like where older people can hang out and do karaoke and drink beer harris teeter for some reason is like the hangout spot for a bunch of people in their 40s and 50s around here i don't know why but they have like a bar there's a place there's a chain here called harris teeter and in that store they have a bar a full service bar and a bunch of older people go there and will get drinks and stuff and do karaoke and stuff on like thursday nights just you know in the middle of a grocery store <laughs> it's 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 amazing 40 is not, no, 40 is not old. To a 20-year-old, 40 is old, but for most people, that's not old at all. As I, as I get older, my definition of old also gets older and older. When I was a kid, um, people in their 30s was old to me. Like, ew, that's so, they're so old. In my 20s, people in their 40s were so old, but now that I'm almost 40, it's like, I don't feel old. Okay, some days I do. <laughs> Not today. So the number just keeps getting pushed back. Yeah, they have a bar and a grocery store here. It's, it's weird. Bro is playing my old job for fun. <laughs> I've gotten that comment a lot. Yeah, where it's like, feels like I'm playing... Um, Wait a minute, the bunch of boxes are all messed up back here. We got all messed up. Yeah, as I was saying, like they have a full blown bar and people are just have a good old time hanging out. Ooh, rice. You won't age until you're sixty. <laughs> One could hope. Alright, more flour. Let's get that stocked in the back over here. 
Looking forward to customizations. Hope they had aisle signs. Cut. Yeah. That's going to be nice when you can, like, have aisles and label what's in the aisle and have little, like, advertisements, little sample stands. What is going on that I'm excited about a video game having sample stands and signs and end caps? <laughs> it's amazing how this game, like, makes you feel about stuff. I have my own little personal grocery store. I'm like, what? In caps? No way. Wait, a new type of butter? Oh my god, that's amazing. I can hold I can make coupons? What? Rock on. Uh, what stage do you get the door open? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a question a lot of people have. Oh, give me one second. Almost done with this. So, when you upgrade the storage room, it'll just be this little block right here at the beginning. You got to upgrade it three times for it to reach this door. And once it does, this will open and you can go through it. But the first two upgrades, they won't have the door right here open. It'll be locked. Just got to upgrade it three times. There are way more people playing and watch this game than I was expecting. I I don't think people out there understand how big this game is. He was expecting maybe 40,000 copies of this game to sell. Maybe 40,000. No, it's maybe, sorry, 4,000. Maybe 4,000 copies was his, like, pie-in-the-sky goal. But this game has sold over... 600,000 copies. 600,000 copies. And this is his second game. <laughs> he had no idea that this game would explode. No idea. No plans out of exploding. So it has gotten huge. So now he gets to, like, make this game whatever his wildest dreams were for it because he he can now hire help he has enough to hire help to help him create it and stuff so i'm i'm like super happy for him it's like you go man uh yeah steam with taxes and stuff is going to take a lot but you know still much more money than he would ever thought what's his first game i have no idea i haven't looked into it Fair play to him, I know. Isn't it amazing? I know the game isn't even done yet. It's in early access. It's like, whoa. Hi, you love this game? Me too. Hello there. All right, I got distracted again. I keep getting distracted. I'm having too much fun chatting with chat, and I forget to play the game. <laughs> Oops. Oh, my God. A finger from Marty Films Gaming. Thank you very much. Where do you get mods? Uh, Nexus mods. Just Google Nexus and then Super Mario Simulator. We're out of um, scallop things. I got 5,000, so I can get this store fully stocked before we open today. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. There's so many people in chat. So many new faces. Uh, scallop, Groton. Get four boxes of that. Um, uh, dishwashing uh, detergent. Three, four. Let's get plenty for the back room as well. Um, we're okay on a lot of this stuff. Nothing that we're like out of, out of. A little bit of bleach, a little bit of shampoo, a little bit of salt. Okay, so bleach. Three, four. Um, salt. Oh no, I said it and I forgot it already. Oh, my old brain. Old brain, what was it? Uh, shampoo. <laughs> I swear, does it goes in one ear and out the other? Shampoo. I can't wait until we get some sort of pallet jack or dolly to pick up many things at once. It'd be great. I always forget shampoo because it's something I don't interact with very much in real life. Because you know, when you're bald, shampoo is just there to basically make your scalp smell better. 
It's a scalp center. There's not, like, I mean, it washes the hairs that are there. There's not many, but it does wash them. But there's not a lot there to wash. Uh, deliveries are planned for the game. Yes, that is definitely coming. Um, how about some shampoo? Uh, just use soap. I buy the shampoo because sometimes shampoo smells really nice. And you just want that. And you want to believe you need shampoo because it's not nice not believing you need shampoo. It's like, I need it. Uh, there you go. Oh, thank you for the gift, uh, Marty, for the rose. Appreciate that. That's going to be dope. Yes. All right, let me put this on the shelf. Man United, hello there. Uh, how about some bleach? Let's put some bleach on the shelf. Oh, by the way, tonight, um, tonight's night stream, I'm starting a second Twitch channel. It's pinned at the top of the stream. I'll be playing some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tonight. It's a slower, comfy game. So it's in order to stop it from skewing my Twitch stats, because it's the Final Fantasy VII doesn't get good viewership on Twitch, unfortunately, because everyone's playing themselves. They don't want spoilers and stuff. So I'll be moving um, games like that to my second channel, which we'll be doing at nighttime. So if you want to give it a follow, it's at the top of the Twitch chat there. Um, I'll be streaming some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tonight on it, if you want to stop by. Um, boop. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even an affiliate on that channel yet, so I don't know how ads will work for that. If it's going to be automatic or what. We'll do our first stream tonight, though. Yeah, I see uh, Baru has, has had a second channel for that for the longest time. I think uh, Kokarns did it as well earlier this year. And a few other streamers have been doing that for a long time. So I see why they're doing it, because it um, makes it so that you don't have to skew your viewer count number. By playing games that, you know, don't do the best for viewership, but you just want to play them. Uh, boop. There we go. Let's see. All right. We got all the boxes out there. You've never played Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy is a, it's daunting as you look at that number, you're like 16. Oh, my God. So many of them. But luckily, you can just jump into any one of them and just play and have fun without having to know the other ones. Yeah, Asmongold has like a second channel that's like his main channel now. I don't think I've ever seen him on Asmongold in the longest time. For whatever reason. Shampoo officially sending your scout for 50 years. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a lunch break. You guys have been so awesome today. Thank you for all the follows and subs and resubs. Just being an amazing wonderful audience. Don't forget to follow if you've been having fun. I'm Dan's Gaming. I'm on all platforms. If you click on my profile or scroll below the video, you can find all my socials there. I'm on Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, making content everywhere. So be sure to give me a follow if you've been having fun. Um, and I will see you guys in a couple of hours. I'm going to go eat some lunch and walk in the park to get some exercise. And then we'll be back on tonight with a comfy stream of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth um, on my second ch channel, YouTube. Um not TikTok or my main Twitch channel. Uh, so thank you guys for following. You guys have been absolutely lovely today. Thank you again. Hope to see you guys again sometime. Have, you guys have a lovely evening if I don't see you tonight for the comfy stream. Bye, guys. Oh, the sound's messed up. <laughs>